Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant oh. Idiots Podcast, back for another week of Brilliant Idiotness. Yes, sir. And we are celebrating our 500th episode, baby. Yeah. 11 years, one podcast a week. We've reached the milestone of 500, man. Crazy. We are That's podcast crazy. OGs, podcast veterans. All of y'all need to be sucking our dicks. Whoa. <laughs> okay? No dick. <laughs> don't, don't use that against me later in a dish record. All right? <laughs> all right? Uh, NYLA is here. Let's go. You know, uh, a lot to discuss, first of all. We and also got a book out. It's out May 21st. So by the time this, oh no 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 May twenty first yeah my book will be in stores get honest to die lying my third book get honest to die lying why small talk sucks you can go to why small talk sucks dot com right now to uh, pre order but also to see uh, what city I'll be in starting on May twenty second I'm doing a small book tour starting on May twenty second so God yeah bless. Nice. how do you feel Schultz man tired uh, big weekend for you. <laughs> You sold out Madison Square Garden twice. Yeah. Then you flew to LA to do the roast of yeah. Tom Brady. Yeah. How do you feel? I feel uh I feel really good, man. I feel really good. After Madison Square Garden, I was just like, yeah, I don't know. I feel very fulfilled. Mm. Which is not something I've I've felt that much in my career. You know, I think that is the one time when you have big dreams, like a lot of times it's you, you focus so much on like what you want to accomplish mm -hmm. and not like what you've done. So sometimes you feel like you're not accomplished, you know? Yeah. And uh, maybe unfair to yourself, but like after MSG, that was the the only goal I really had in stand-up comedy. I was like, I, I just want to sell at Madison Square Garden. And if I do that, then I've reached the mountaintop, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, it was, I was even sitting on the roast there and, and I was even, I was just like on the dais kind of looking around. I was like, I don't even care how this goes. <laughs> like I, like I, 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 it was, it was just like, and I'd never felt that. Like everything I'd done in my career up to that point was like, oh, they're gonna discredit me for everything if this doesn't go well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But after that, after I was like, that was what I created my head as, as, as the mountaintop. You almost don't look right in those rooms no more. I watched you on stage at that roast, and I said, look at all these peons never sold out the garden. <laughs> <laughs> I said, look at all these fucking peons. I said, Andrew Schultz doing these peons a favor, standing on stage with a bunch of motherfuckers who never sold out the garden twice. I was like, look at him still keeping it real to the streets. Yeah. <laughs> still giving it back to the comedy streets. I loved it. I'm like, there's only one. I'm not even joking. I was like, there's only one person up there who probably can do that. Kev. And that's Kevin Hart. Kev, and he's yeah. done it. I'm sure yeah. Kevin's done it. Kevin's done yeah, it. Yeah. He's the only person. Yeah. There's not a Tony not Tony Hinchcliffe is is doing his uh, Kill Tony show. It's like the biggest show on the internet. They're okay. doing it at MSG this summer. Oh, they are. They are. Yeah, they are. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, Did yeah. it sell out so? Yeah, I think they've sold it out. No, I think we, let's not give them that. No, let's no, I think <laughs> no, 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 I think I think they've sold because I know they have two dates. So okay. I think they've sold. But it's not stand up though. It it's like it's, it's, a, a, it's a show that had exactly yeah, 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 that has yeah. stand up components. It's different than doing stand up. By the way, sure. I love Kill awesome Tony. Show, yeah. I love Kill Tony. It's, Only seen one episode, yeah. and that's the episode where they pissed Donnell Rollins and off and walked him every off. Second Goats of it. to me. <laughs> 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 you it's, made it's, Donnell Rollins walk off and got him pissed <laughs> off. Y'all are <laughs> goats to me, Kill Tony. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. It is a great show. Y'all should check it out. But but yeah, dude, it was yeah, man. And then you bought out Fifty Cent that for the first night. That was so crazy, man. I love seeing the enthusiasm. First of all, we know 50's a comedy guy because 50's a funny dude himself. Yeah, yeah, I man. like seeing the enthusiasm that 50 Cent has for Andrew Schultz. And I yeah. think that's what, that's what creativity does, right? When you see somebody take their career in their own hands, do things their way, and achieve something like that, it inspires you. Yeah, yeah. And I, 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 you can tell 50 Cent is inspired yeah. by what you're doing at the Garden. I mean, I'm inspired. So, uh, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? But, but you can t for him to come to fucking New York... It was crazy. I and mean, he did this, a show. He did a mini concert. Bro, that was the cool. Like, doing all the hits. You know what I mean? Yayo being there. Yayo, Uncle like, Murder. Uncle Murder. Like, I, I couldn't believe it. They asked us for three mics. Yeah. And I was like, what? Because I thought he was going to come out, you know, do something. Whatever he wanted to do, I'm fine. If he just came out and he was like, yo, what's up? And then let's go home. I'm cool with that. But they're like, yeah, we need three different mics. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? Who's coming? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they put on a show and yeah. Yeah, man. It's yeah, Uncle Murder awesome. Friday night. Uh, it's, a, it's a cool uh, yeah. video 50 Cent posted with, with us backstage. And Uncle Murder, said, Uncle Murder said something to me that did not age well. Talk to me. He said, Drake's up. <laughs> <laughs> 
Go watch the video. Ooh, that's a hot he take. Said, he said, this was Friday night, though. That's a hot take. This was before. So much happened Friday night. So much happened Friday. Yeah. That's so right, much man. happened Friday. He said, Drake's up. And it was all downhill from there, guys. Yo, yeah. I remember I remember Taylor coming up to me after. She, <laughs> and she was like, you were very sweet. Congratulated me on the show. And, and then and she goes, I have one more thing I got to tell you. I was like, what's up? She's like, Kendrick dropped. No, no, who dropped? Drake dropped. No, Drake dropped. Drake, Drake dropped. And I was like, oh, tonight is, good. is a really crazy night. Hey, mind you, Kendrick dropped earlier that day. He dropped the timestamp yeah. record. Uh, what was it, 616, 616 in L.A.? Mm -hmm. 616. Yeah, which was dope. Yeah. Phenomenal record. I loved it. The thing I loved the most about the record, I love strategy. So the fact that Euphoria dropped on Wednesday, and we was waiting for Kendrick to drop. Mm. So then he drops Euphoria. And so people are probably thinking to themselves, we probably ain't going to get another Kendrick record in forever. It's a six-minute record. He's probably going to let that live. But for him to go back-to-back, -back, which is a Drake tactic, yeah. and give us 616 in L.A., but also, I know for a fact that when Drake heard that record and Kendrick starts talking about how you know, the OVO team, there's a mole in OVO and the mole is feeding him things. And did you ever think OVO is working for me? I know for a fact that OVO mansion sounded like it was a bunch of owls in that motherfucker. Who? 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 I know it. Without a shadow of a good. fucking doubt. Yeah. I know that. So psychologically, that had to fuck Drake up. So Drake is like, fuck that. We going to drop family fucking matters later that night. Oof. Phenomenal record. Yeah. We're not gonna sit here and act like Aubrey Graham did not drop a phenomenal diss record in Family Matters. Mm. Well, first of all, what do you think of the LA record, Nyla? They're not like us. No, the Earth six, the six uh, six one six record, six one six in LA. Is that the flip, the Kendrick flip, Buried Alive? Uh, no. The one he dropped Friday afternoon. Like the soul sample. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Nyla, you're supposed to be the music expert. You're supposed to be the music expert. <laughs> I don't remember 616 because it's not I the think main record. I'll play it. Play 616 in LA. That's the one where he was saying that OVO has a mole. Damn, oh. this is the timeline of this shit? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. Family Matters. Phenomenal fucking record. I actually think it's probably the second best record in this whole situation. Really? Yes. What's the first best one? I mean, not like us. You gotta go not like us. Not now. like us? It's just a yeah. Even over like that? Is like that on here? Family Matters is probably the best record. Not like us is the best song. There you go. Yeah, not I like us is the best Family song. Matters is the best diss track. Yeah. And yeah. not like us is the best bop. Not like us yeah. is the best bop. So Drake got the best diss track. Yeah. But he didn't win. No. Correct. Nah. He lost because of strategy. He yeah. lost because of fucking strategy. But I think like that... I still think like that's the best record. I don't know if I really count like that, our first person shooter. That's the first round. I don't know why y'all got seven minute drill by J. Cole even up there. <laughs> don't don't be like that. I don't know why y'all got that. show of hands don't. up there. I don't know why y'all got all to myself. None of that matters. Yeah. We're talking oh, about Kendrick oh. and Drake. Okay, we, fair enough. We're talking about Kendrick Lamar and Aubrey Graham. That's what we're talking about. So if anything, I would keep also, like that. Also, seven minute drill doesn't exist anymore. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I would keep like that. For the record. And then push-ups. <laughs> like that, and then push-ups. Yeah. Then I would go into tailor-made freestyle. Then I would go into Euphoria, 616 in L.A., Family Matters, uh, yeah. Meet the Grams. Everything down. And then Not Like Us, and then The Hard Part 6. Not Buried Alive either? I don't even know what the fuck that is. That See, that's what I thought. When you were referencing 616, I thought you were talking about The Buried Alive. I thought that was actually really good what, what and that? creative. Buried Alive, it's a parody, so Buried Alive is the record that they have together, their first record together that's mm -hmm. on Take Care. And he flipped it. So he pretty, like, in the original record is Kendrick telling the story about his first time meeting Drake and going to Canada. And then when he flipped it, it's pretty much Drake now telling the story on the same beat. Hmm. But he's like... Oh, how did I miss that? I know. I don't it was remember. only posted on IG. But that's what I know. I remember 616. If, if it was 616 versus the Buried Alive, is I really like the Buried Alive. Well, that's another reason Drake lost this, because I ain't know nothing about the Buried Alive shit. It, but, it's too many songs. It's too, it, but, but, <laughs> but, too many songs. But that's yeah. what the also songs are makes six it. Six minutes long, and it's like, uh, what's going on here? But that's like, what also makes it the greatest rap feud ever. Yeah. Does, the yeah, fact does that it? All of these guys, Kendrick and Drake, decided to put out this much music, and everything was high quality.
It, yeah. It, uh, yeah. It was up here. Like nothing. There is not one record on there that you could say is whack. Hmm. All everything was good. They all answered. They land. Somebody would land a blow. Somebody would come right back. The reason Drake loses this battle because he drops a phenomenal record like Family Matters. The shit that he even said in Family Matters doesn't even stick because Kendrick comes out 30 minutes later. Yeah. So it's like Drake comes out and says, wife beater. Kendrick says, pedophile. <laughs> wife beater's the little joker. Pedophile's the big, big joker. joker. Neutralizes wow. Family Matters immediately. Yeah. You come out, you say, yo, Dave Free, Kendrick's guy, is the, 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 the father, father of his kid. Of, it's like, come on. That's crazy. I, I'm like, Drake's going to hell. Yeah, that's crazy. Like he, they, I mean, I know they playing limbo with each other, but yeah. Drake just went to hell. Yeah, yeah, he went low. But then here comes Kendrick. <laughs> Sit down, Drake's mom. <laughs> Let me tell you why your son needs to die. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. Nah, come on. I had bro. to call Debbie Brown after I listened to that oh shit. What'd she God. say? I needed somebody to talk to. I needed yeah. to, like, get this shit out of my spirit. <laughs> yeah. Say what? You didn't hear the Meet the Grand? Somebody told me that it dropped. And it was right before I was going on Saturday. No. No, it was Friday night. May 4th, Not Like Us, came out, I think, Saturday. In the morning. We were still at the party. We was at the party when Family Matters dropped, and then 30 minutes later, Kendrick dropped. Yeah, I was... <laughs> there was some song that came out. I thought it was before Saturday. Maybe Not I Like Us. No, it was not. Like not Like Us. The Bop. Yeah. yeah, that came out Saturday. That came out Saturday. That came out during your show. Yeah, no, no, and I they, I literally right, saw an update, and I was like, I can't take this in. I don't want to, like, I didn't know what right. it was going to be. It was and the amazing. last shit he was talking about, how he's a pedophile, so I'm like, the fuck is this one going to be about? I don't need that in my heart. I don't need it in my soul when I'm going to, like, make people laugh, you know? Yeah, Meet the Grams was dark. Meet the Grams felt like Stan yeah. meets um, Suicidal Thoughts by Biggie Smalls. Yeah. It felt like Stan people meets People love that record, thoughts. though. Which one? Suicidal thoughts. People do love that record. And, and <clears throat> Meet the Grams. Honestly, I think Meet the, Meet the Grams is one of the best records to me. Like I like Meet the Grams and Euphoria as far as the Easter eggs and just the journey it took me on and listening to the record as a record. I just, like, it's just wild to sit somebody's mom down, tell them that your son needs to die, tell them that they're a pedophile. See, but and then at the end, tell them they just need instead. Of, I'm glad that you're in therapy, but you need some ayahuasca too. But he, <laughs> <laughs> what? He, he went low so that he could bring it back up, though. Even within the record and in real life, energy wise, but then dropping not like us, because everybody felt like, all right, this was really dark. Like I don't even know if I really want this to continue anymore. I don't even know if I still want to listen anymore. And then he brought the energy back up with not like us. And even on Meet the Grams, he ended with like. Yo, nothing's gonna change for you. What is the Lauren Hill? Um, how you gonna win when you ain't right within? That's all he's saying at the end. Yeah, but are you right within? If I sit, mom, if I sit down with your oh mom and say your he son just, needs he to just die, went, he went low because Drake went low. He had to go lower. You know, lower. match energy. That's why everybody miserable Man, now. Man, sometimes good people gotta slap niggas that need to get slapped. Man. Talk about his son, and then you upset because he talked to his mom. That doesn't make no sense. He talked about his son. What do you mean? And he talked about his wife. Yeah. That's what do you mean? That's the last record that, 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 that he's I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go below I the think, belt. I think there is an unfair narrative out here, which is like. People are going like, wow, Kendrick went so low. How dare he? And it's like, nah, Drake did just as Exactly. Yeah. The, <laughs> I agree. Questioning the father of a child. Like, Hell. That, that kid is going to listen to that song one day. Hell. Yeah. And then wonder if his dad is his real dad. Yeah. It's his uncle. I do. <laughs> Hell. So, so I, I, if we're just being objective here, that's like. You're 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 putting turmoil and trauma on an innocent party. I'm with you. I and, and, and and a child at that. So I'm so so Drake cannot cry about yeah. what Kendrick said because that kid is gonna listen to the record one day. He's gonna be 14 and he's gonna have a moment where he goes, Is my dad my real dad? Even though like it, that's gonna happen to a child. I'm with you. So if so while it's foul as fuck to create this narrative that Drake's a pedophile, which he is not. I, I, the, They're the both fact foul that, as fuck. Yeah. But, yeah, but I guess what I'm saying is Drake can't cry about it because he's also foul. Oh, I agree. Yeah, yeah, wholeheartedly. Yeah. Now, we're going to get to something in a minute that I think... But at least Kendrick is saying this about Drake. Not Drake is saying this about a child. Yeah. That, 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 to me, there is a very big difference. Kendrick either knows or doesn't know that that's his kid. 
That kid doesn't. So either yeah, Kendrick yeah, got yeah. a test or he knows that they were together or has spoken to his ex-wife, whatever. That kid doesn't. Yeah, and you Drake don't want, knows he's not a pedophile. But yeah, that's and, also you know what I mean? Like, and, so, if you, and if you're a kid, you don't want to hear this record 14 years from now. What if 14 years from now, Drake's kid is listening to Meet the Grams and now he got questions? I know. Well, wait, wait. So wait, what is what was said about uh, Drake's... Just that he's a terrible father, yeah, he's a he deadbeat. Say, well, here's the thing. He said he, that you could learn character from me because... But but here's the thing about that. He said that. Drake got a daughter that he don't, she don't, take, he don't take care of. Drake's kid is going to know who his dad is because his dad is either in his life or is not in his life. He doesn't need a song, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, anybody can say that we're... Somebody can say that my dad's a bad dad. Yeah. But it doesn't matter what they say because I know what he did for me, Absolutely. right? I know if he was there. So it's like, it doesn't change that relationship at all. Questioning the legitimacy no, of a child. I agree with you with that, <laughs> but also in this record, Kendrick is saying like, your dad, even if he is present, isn't going to be a good present dad because your dad... It's not a man of moral, is yeah. essentially what he's saying. He's saying, actually, you can learn to me. Because in this record, I'm breaking down why your dad is not a man of moral and how these are the things he should do to get better. So it's like, even if that's true and even if he is a present dad, like the... If he ever gets mad at his dad and feel like his man's disagreeing with him or something, he could go listen to the song and get the validation he was looking. Kendrick said, let me be your mentor since your daddy don't teach you shit. Never let a man piss on your legs, son. <laughs> Either you die right there or pop that man in the head, son. I mean... But it, Come it, on, Shari. If, if you know the situation... That's the Diddy no, shit, right? The man, yeah. Yeah. No, that wasn't the Diddy shit. I thought it was. No. I oh, no, Diddy that was, slapped him. No, that's, that has nothing to do with I that. I thought Diddy that was, peed on his leg. No, no someone peed on his leg. That was right? T.I.'s homeboy, God bless the dead. His homeboy is no longer with us. That was T.I.'s homeboy uh, back in the day when Drake first got on, and his homeboy was drunk, and was they were like in a movie theater or something, and the guy, the guy thought he was peeing somewhere else and ended up peeing on Drake. Like <laughs> and then he was killed? No. <laughs> oh. It happened like years years later. I think... I think I, I, that's a... I think he might have died in prison How or something like that. Someone's the name? math is just not mathing. How do you end up peeing on somebody? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I've seen that before. How you don't stand out of the way of somebody he peeing? He was drunk as shit. I did that in college. My friend was yeah. peeing. At, he was peeing into a a toilet, not a urinal, like the toilet where girls would pee. Mm -hmm. But he's standing in front of it. And then I went behind him and peed in between his legs. What into the toilet. <laughs> are you being serious? Yeah. Are you <laughs> Are you, what drunk. are you trying to explain? You drunk out your mind. No. Click on that line, Taylor. Tell wasn't even drunk. This sounds crazy. Taylor, click on that line. No. Yeah. I thought it was a funny prank. No, no, but then my stream started like... to get weak, and it just was splattering on the floor and, like, hitting him because he, he had sandals drunk. on. But he that's just wild. wild. That's so nasty. Why would you just... No, no, you're right. It was a pretty disgusting thing. <laughs> Like, I'm what? sorry. I'm sorry, Andrew Slager. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> <laughs> who it was. <laughs> oh my god. He was really upset about that. Yeah, see. <laughs> I'm sure. Reasonably so. Yeah, he alludes to the story of Drake being urinated on in 2010 by Ti's inebriated friend Cap during a movie premiere in Los Angeles for Ti's Movies Takers. Meek Mill mentioned this in his July 2015 Drake this one and though you let oh, Tip yeah. Homie piss on you in a movie theater, nigga. We ain't forget. Oh, wow. That's crazy. But he was drunk. I, okay, that one doesn't that really add to what it's like. Exactly. It's just nasty. It's just, it's just funny. It's just funny. <laughs> like, listen, listen, listen I'm being, there's nothing Kendrick said in any of his disses that was brand new information about Drake other than the daughter thing, which I don't even believe. Daughter you know thing is... I, there were, I there think were articles it about it, though. No, yeah, it wasn't. And it's Here, about the Here's why it's believable. Like here's why it's believable, even though it's doubtful. Because we saw it before. Exactly. Yes. That's it. Where but, is the there thing... There was articles. Yeah, yeah, go on, go on. Did y'all see the pictures of the kids, though? I mean, of the son. It's not a daughter, it's a son. All biracial babies look alike. No, no. She was, she was it. just like <laughs> she, al she already came out and showed the dad. I know which one you're talking about. It does look just no, like Drake. No, because he paid it, it, her. Nobody cares the... when they want to believe something. I know, I know. Nobody <laughs> cares about the truth when the lie is more entertaining. Once, no. the, once, a, once you set a narrative in somebody's head, anything you see you know what? will confirm That's said it. narrative. That's true, but also, once you see this picture, I think you're going to think the same thing. I can find babies that look like you, Nyla. Show them this. You say those are your <laughs> No, because I got to have birth before Get a little, it to get be a little black, blue-eyed baby. And say you had a child from a cracker. Wow. Listen, <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, how did, listen, how did you get listen, listen fuck? go back to the song list. Okay, so Beat the Graham comes out, neutralizes Family Matters. This is where Kendrick Lamar wins. On May 4th, he did what we all thought Drake was going to do. He put out the bop. He put out the yep. diss bop. Yep. When you put out the diss bop, you win. Mm. And, this, and, and by the way, it's not like Drake is dead. 
after Not Like Us drops. You know when Drake dies? When he drops the heart part six. No, for real. And you know why? That's real. Because... Number one, you wanted to get back at Kendrick because Kendrick did your move by giving you a back-to-back, -back, and he made the back-to-back 616 -back in L.A. So you're doing twice. You're doing two things that Drake does. I give you a back-to-back, -back and I give you a timestamp record. That's your move, Drake. Ooh. Drake is he's doing on that, clearly. Okay, I'm going to give him the heart part six then because that's Kendrick's series of songs. The heart part five was the last one. He gives us the heart part six. No, Drake. You were supposed to come back with a record, yeah. Yeah. a song. Yeah. You were supposed to come back with it, your own disc bop. Yeah. Yeah. Can you, you saw it. Like, how can you watch Kendrick on Saturday night? You're watching videos from the club. You're watching videos Man. of people crip walking in LA. You're seeing what this record is doing. How do you, the hit maker, <laughs> the hit maker, not go make a fucking hit? How do you come back with the heart part six that and shit not a hit? Can I that say it was more that funnier? Shit, that because shit he really, tried, really bothered him. He tried that, to that's end the it, problem. though. When yeah. you have a... When you get hit with something... And the pedophilia allegation, there is no bigger allegation. It's disgusting. So it's like... The, the crazy thing about the pedophilia allegation is that if somebody even accuses somebody of it, you will never let them babysit your kids, right? Babysit? <laughs> Meaning like... You might, might not let them shake the kid's hand. Yeah. Like, but what I'm saying is like, even if you know the person, like even if Chris Moreau, somebody said that shit about Chris Moreau, right? We know Chris. We know this is bullshit. There's no way. And Chris was like... Oh, yeah, if you guys want to go out, I'll watch your kid. You'd be like, man, Chris, if you don't get the fuck away. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No. So it's like, you're going to have to move he... to Bali soon. Oh, you know? my God. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Russell, I love how Russell Simmons is speaking on this. Russell, man. shut the fuck up and do some yoga, Russell. Nobody <laughs> want to hear about this shit from you. Okay, and all your fucking accusations. Sit yourself down in a cross-legged pose oh my and God. shut the fuck up. Hey. The fact that he goes on Instagram, like I think I should weigh in on this discussion. Yo, show just, I'm the moral authority. Show just did the mindfulness version. Yeah. Shut the fuck up and play some drums. Yo, yo, <laughs> yo, yo, do yo real talk, bro. Go do downward dog without a fucking girl in front of you. <laughs> yeah, Russell, 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 it's not like people are just out here tearing people down to tear them down. Yeah. Like, cause you're, you're just totally discrediting any allegations that were made. Now, I do agree with Russell. You know, these allegations aren't criminal. They're, they're not in a court of law, is what he's mm -hmm. saying. He's like, all of this stuff is just basically he said, she said. But I guess when things play out in civil court, like they did in the case of Diddy, you, you got to kind of understand why people feel the way they feel. You settled with less than 24 hours after getting sued for all of these accusations. Like, if you didn't do anything, there'd be some fighting back. Yeah. I'm not, you're not gonna settle within 24 hours. For Russell to negate that, that was you, that was a little off, Russ. That was a lot off, actually. Yeah, why do you live in Bali, bro? <laughs> yeah, wrong why do you live in the place that doesn't extradite? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> why, why do you why do you live there? Huh? Yeah. Listen, of all the people who come yeah. to his defense, Diddy's like, not nah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, got, you gotta be looking at Instagram like, no, <laughs> no, man, no. Not the ally. I heard Harvey Weinstein also did an Instagram. Post. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, Harvey was like, yo, free my man Diddy. <laughs> Shout out whatever Russell said. I agree with. <laughs> Golly. Yeah, that wasn't that, was was, that wasn't the move, yo. Say for family man, though, he tried to end it already, though, saying like. This, I'm going on vacation, blah, blah, blah. So he sounded like defeated with the heart price. He didn't. I don't know why people keep saying that. He because not, he no, tried he to end it again. He didn't try <laughs> like, to, he, never, he did not try to end it. Yes, he did. He no, he about, didn't. Listen, but you said no, he, he didn't, didn't end it with. Not you know, like, he didn't. I mean, so with the heart. Yo, I really got, listen, I'm not even joking. Please stop letting social media dictate y'all now. What's that in the lyrics? He didn't try to end it on none of them. What he was saying on the heart part six was, if y'all motherfuckers ain't going to play above board, and y'all just gonna be out here, we just gonna yeah. be out here spreading lies about each other. I'm, I'm not with that. He literally said, when we start speaking facts, let's get to but it. I don't but understand. he started with lies. Yeah, he started with the lies. I don't, listen, I don't believe none of these motherfuckers. 
But clearly they believe you. They believe what they're saying. But honestly, he just did the J. Cole. He just stepped out. He did. He didn't step out, no. No, he did because he was already doing he say, she say in rap verses. Then came to the end and was like, I don't want to play I don't want to play the game of he say, she say after you've already been playing it. That's the call. Yeah, but that's not, that wasn't. That's the call. It's the same thing. That wasn't a tap out. It's bad strategy to put this record out after Not Like Us. It sounds like you don't want to play it. No, he did say it. Yeah, at Family Matters, he goes, man, I'm about to go on vacation. It's, it's done with blah, blah, blah. No, because he's saying y'all motherfuckers is done. He was like, y'all didn't want... That's what he's saying. Taylor, I'm Taylor putting it up. Because... You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. He didn't say that. He comes across so like... So Drake I'm... thought he was done. Yes. Oh, he, he, done. Thought, he thought Kendrick Family was Matters was done. it. No, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. No, that, but that don't mean he's done. He thinks that was a nuke. Yes. Yes. He yes. thought that he was thought a nuke. Yeah, it's different. Which I think it would have if Kendrick didn't step on... If he does have better I think this, strategy. That this been the hard part six. That motherfucker Kendrick dropped two nukes. Nah, Ken- no. Two? <laughs> yes, he dropped me to Grams. He dropped me. <laughs> <laughs> he, he dropped me to Grams and then he was like, yo, there's still motherfuckers moving down there. Yeah. He dropped a nuke on top of a nuke. Yeah. He, he dropped. <laughs> that's what he sounded like. <laughs> it sounded like Soulja Boy. I was going to say he this dropped is more than that. Six. By the way, there's some real slick bars yeah, in this. Uh, the end. Where you I know. Yeah, there's yeah. some real the slick bars oh, in the This was part great part. rapping. Yo, also, this was great like, rapping, dude. From like, everybody. Yeah. Phenomenal. I, I didn't like the spoken word at the end, though. I but, but see, that's look. him kind of waving the flag. Exactly. Like, oh, yes, like, it Yo, is. He's like, yeah, and this is a good exercise. Got my pen working. Listen to what he's got. Something you say in the middle the of a battle. Thing. I don't think Drake is giving up, but no. he lost the war. He lost the war. Listen. Or he lost the battle. No, I don't he know. lost he the lost, war. He, he, he lost is the, the clear winner here. Yes. But what 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 happens if Drake puts out music after this? It's gonna hit the way the Blueprint Two hit. Y'all don't remember the Blueprint Two. The Blueprint 2 was a great diss record Bruh, that probably came one of the out. Best. Probably one of the best diss records that came out of the Jay Z Nas beef, but it it came out after the fact. It came out after Ether, mm-hmm. came out after Super Ugly, came out after uh, Last Real Nigga Alive, and it was great, but nobody cared. That whole that line with, uh, is it Uchi Wally Wally or is it one mic that everybody still quotes to this day? That's from that record, mm-hmm. but nobody cared. Yeah. So well, Drake can come out with a great record today, and it's like, nah, it's closed. <laughs> like we closed, man. Like, you know. Only time will tell. He can get out of that. I think he can, yeah. Uh, I'm not. How does he... Okay, so what is... Well, I have two two questions. One, what is the next move for Drake? Lawsuit. <laughs> no. Uh... That motherfucker is going to sue. Listen. Why? He needs to sue. All Listen. the investigators no. on Twitter have been pulling all the they, stories. They, they, they investigators on Twitter ain't got shit to lose. Let me tell you something. Drake... Is half white. <laughs> exactly. Okay. This is what, sh- this is what Y'all about is to talking learn. about. Drake, 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 Mama side of the family is like, oh no, Aubrey. No. <laughs> this man is out here calling you a pedophile. Not Listen, Aubrey. Listen, there's probably people at Nike. There's probably people at Universal. There's people that got real vested interest in Drake. That is a multi-billion oh, yeah. dollar entity. Yeah. They're like, you got to protect your name. Fuck all that rap shit. Get- Call your cousin. Call your cousin, who's the lawyer. <laughs> but, this, <laughs> right. but then he just okay. gonna prove Kendrick right. He, who said Kendrick was wrong? Drake knows he's half white. No, I'm just saying of what Kendrick was just saying, how he don't know his black. Like he's not suing. He can't shit. Suing. I'm not saying like I can see him shit. suing. <laughs> why? why? Nah. You I call me a pedophile. Suing. You that's got news reporters on TV. Child abuser. Listen, you got news reporters I mean, on TV. Uh, I didn't mean to yell. I don't want to look like these fat, stupid motherfuckers on podcast. <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if you, if you, if you, if you, if you, listen to me, listen to me. If you are on a, t- you're on TV, <laughs> and they called me. This, they meant to say rapper and called me a raper. Oh my lord, that's not you even didn't a see word. That? That's not even a that's word. That's what I'm saying. He goes, <laughs> so, the news report, white news reporter goes, Raper Drake. And he goes, oh, my bad rapper. You didn't see it? Yeah. Yeah. Play it. Shit, you know what this is proving? Home. This is proving that the things that Kendrick are saying are, are sticking. Is sticking. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, watch this. This is ABC, this is an ABC news anchor. Outside, Outside the mansion of the Raper. Rapper, rapper, I should say, Drake in Toronto. Now, now many people are asking me. I'm gonna tell y'all something. Y'all are bugging if y'all don't think. Somebody may sue on Drake's behalf. I don't know who it's gonna be. Mm. There is an entity that d- can sue. If Drake is in business with some of these companies, because the company is uh, attached to him. Okay, let's say, let's just say outside of suing. Okay. Give me another strategy outside of suing. What does he do? Musically? Musically. No, no, he just it could be box? anything. Like he well, needs to do something. You got it. I'm not gonna you- lie, I feel like he's gonna 
wait and then post a note like he did when Adonis. Don't do that. When Adonis happened, Please he lied, don't. said it wasn't his son. Don't then he do that. the note and was like, you nah. know what? I've done X, don't Y, do and Z. I wasn't doing X, Why Y, and Z. I was hiding that, my son from the X, he, Y, and he Z. Learned. He already did it in the rap. I, I, when I did Academic Scream last Friday, I literally said the worst thing Drake can do is defend himself. And I brought that up as an example. I brought up mm -hmm. the fact that he put that letter out about Pusha T. I literally said the worst thing Drake can do is get on a record and go on defense and defend himself. That's what he did with the hard part six. That would be a terrible move. The only thing Drake can do right now is go to LA and get jumped in Pyro. <laughs> you gotta go get yeah. jumped in Pyro, that, Drake. That is crazy. Drake, you got to go to LA and get jumped in Pyro. And why would that, why would that you help? You gotta go do it. Can he do all these gigs? Isn't he like couldn't oh by the way I really hated how he shouted out you know who really represent my nigga YG I hated yeah. that why are you name dropping nah, 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 that's, it. Nah, that's nah. something I don't really you know like all the name dropping we're, nah. gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna get to that in a second but just real quick you okay so you join the bloods join the bloods oh my what God. else is there no no I genuinely I'm like what is the strategy for him right now I think if it's he old. can find <laughs> one piece of credible proof that proves just one of his allegations, then now everybody's like, oh shit, everything he said was real. And then if he matches that with a bop, that's how he wins. That's, so, that's, that's so, a great that's great. That's, so that's, hold on, so hold that's on. Great. He needs to find a video of Kendrick beating up his- like Either he, Kendrick beating his wife or, a, or a, a pregnancy test that says Dave Free is actually the, the child's like, father. And then he puts or, that out? You would have to. But let's, that yeah. let's that, be honest. Bop, he wins. Though I think it'll be a moment is it going to be bigger than this? Yes. The, only, the, already... the, the only way to take Kendrick's energy is to discredit him. Yes. So right now, the reason Kendrick wins is because he's got all the energy. I think it's discredit, but I don't think it's going to, like, it's not going to, like, tear the statue down. No, nah, I don't think so. Because either. they're already saying that both of them are lying on each other That's and this, that, and the third. Everybody so agrees like... that they're both lying. So if Drake backs up his word and Kendrick can't back up his stuff, so now it's just like, yo, he put out just a bunch of lies about you. We discredit all that. I mean, if he get it, if he can get it, that'd be great. But it's like. But that's not a win with music, in my opinion. No, no, I, I, say, I say that Especially with the bop. Especially feeling-wise. Yeah. But he needs that with the bop. On Twitter, like, both of them have been making allegations, and the only one they have Twitter threads on is Drake. Like, there is no Twitter thread of all the time. Because, Kendrick because, has done. because Drake lost. And Drake, and Drake is the bad guy right now. This is even before. <clears throat> there's over? also more it's people over. that want to see Drake Lose. get knocked off a pedestal. That's right. I mean, Kendrick is the underdog here. So Why it's. He saying that? He is well, that is the, the unequivocal truth. 100%. Because he's the smaller. He's, he's the, he's, he is significantly smaller, and he's never been. I'm not at, significant. He's never I'm been smaller. considered number one. He's been considered number one amongst music heads. Yeah. And even when music heads say it, it's the same way as when people were like, Prince is better than Michael Jackson. It's like, oh, that's cute. It's like Carl Malone is the MVP, not Michael Jordan. That's adorable. No. <laughs> he was never I'll number one. Say, it wasn't even fucking close. No, it's not well, even the conversation. He's, he's a prolific artist. Yes, he's prolific. Prolific. I've, I, I've always said Kendrick is the leader of the new school when it comes to these new artists, but not because of... I get what you're saying. Drake is commercially yeah, known like, let's, as the great guy. Th yeah. Drake, Kendrick is the critically acclaimed. Yes. And often yeah. critically acclaimed, you are critically acclaimed because yeah. you are not... Acclaimed. Yeah. Isn't why? That's why critics have to say that you're great mm -hmm. because the, the the people are not saying you're great. You don't need critical acclaim when you're putting out Avengers Endgame. Nobody goes Avengers Endgame critically acclaimed. Yeah. They just go. It Fuck makes a billion the dollars. It's a billion dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so, yeah. so what, that's all I'm trying to say. So everybody and naturally as human beings, we we resent the people that hold inc incredibly successful positions. It's just in our DNA to do that. We're competitive. You know, uh, power driven. Yeah. Monster. I don't want to say we're monsters. We're also awesome, capable of cool shit. But when we see people that are at the top, we want to tear them down a That's lot right. of times. And um, so all the people that have seen Drake run music for decades, yeah. they're like, fuck that. Now it's about time this guy gets taken down. And then Kendrick, who happens to be one of the most prolific musicians in the history of the world, probably. It's the same thing. Does the same, it? It's the same reason people cheer when LeBron loses, loses it, the finals. It, exactly. Um, it's the same it's, reason people yes. cheer when LeBron loses. Yeah, and, and I think well, they the cheered for when Jordan did too. Like, they're- I, When they're, did he lose? <laughs> when, I don't remember when those Eastern, times. Con Eastern Commerce finals, right? When he didn't go. Yeah. When, I, remember that first year he came back? Yeah, 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 yeah. But what I'm saying is like, there were Jordan haters. Like, yeah. every, every successful person has haters. I think this conversation is like entertainment or entertainer versus artist, but also at the same time, 
I feel like there's other big artists who, if allegations are made, nobody even pays attention to just because people have a certain level Name. of... Drake. Beyonce. Drake. <laughs> oh, like, if you don't think that there are people... Well, now that Taylor Swift is, has taken over the top spot, I think Beyonce has looked at it a little bit more of like an underdog. But when Beyonce was on her heyday... If you don't think there are people like rooting for Beyonce's downfall, uh, like absolutely. no, I think 100%. they hundred percent. I don't see people coming together, like unifying to try to, to take you out well, because she has. By the way, this is the first time they've done this to Drake. That's there, there's been plenty of times there's been set, things said about Drake and allegations and all of that type of stuff, and nobody cared. This is the first time these shit have penetrated some armor. So that's so that's that's the next discussion I want to have, which is like. Why do you guys think there is this unbelievably coordinated effort to take Drake down, number one? And then two, why not a single person in entertainment outside of Jewel Santana? Jewel Santana is the only person to be like, yo, Drake has got this. Like, nobody has Drake's back. All the goodwill that he's done, all the number one songs he's given people, all the times that he patted someone on the good, back. Why, why, why is no artist on planet Earth coming out and supporting Drake? Drake what is going on? Girls. Why do they need to? <laughs> Well, well, wait, what? what? Fuck well, why do they need to? This is this battle. Anybody says anything about my dude, it's fuck them. Y'all not rappers. Yes, we are. Don't fucking yeah. tell us what we are. <laughs> are you out of your You're goddamn not rapper. mind? You're not a rapper. I know not I'm a not. Fucking rapper. <laughs> I mean, you ain't a rapper. Oh, no. What the I know. fuck? I don't know. We rap. I... <laughs> the fuck is you talking about? You didn't see my guy on stage with 50 Cent the other night? I rap. You, you know in the I mean? background I rapping. Say again? I was in the background trying to not mouth the N-word. That's what I was trying <laughs> Yo, to say. Yo, chill out. I was. We don't want to hear you say Nigga, no more. Son, it was, that shit was difficult, bro. I, I, I saw stressing. you one time. I did. I, 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 you did. Like, no, you did like this. You was like, I turned around. I turned around. I'm not gonna lie. You got them shit out and turned right back around. I, so, me and Tony made like I we we, 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 made, we made eye contact and I thought a dap was coming and then he just hit a hard left and I had to turn this into like a hey. <laughs> <laughs> wait, hold on one more before we go to the commercial. What y'all think about BBL Drizzy's? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, I, no, I'm still what do you no, mean before no, we go to the commercial? Very, we're here. I'm we're still here. Think... We got a very important discussion, which yes. is why is there this coordinated effort and why is there no support for Drake? What do you guys think? But it's funny because if anybody was going to be the support, you would think it would be Cole. I feel like Cole, who is friends no, with both of them. No, you stop. Exactly. We what? Do not, the last person I'm taking the war is the person no, no, who retreated. No, 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 oh, hell. no, no, saw, no, no. We just no, saw no. you retreat. No, no, no. Cole. All right, hold on. No, and I'm fine right. with him retreating. No, yeah. prior... But I'm not calling it. You don't, don't boy, don't pick up the phone and call Trey after Trey got that's, off the call. That's not my, uh, you're missing my point. Cole did first person shooter, meaning he's cool with Drake. That Him and Dirk are his last two allies that we've seen publicly. So for this situation to come to its head and Drake decide, you know what, let me get out of this. Why would why would you, you want to do? You mean for Cole that? to say, "Let me get out of this"? Yeah. Well, the streets are saying, "Schoolboy Q pulled J Cole aside at Dreamville Fest." Said, "Get the and fuck told out him, the way." Get <laughs> the fuck out the way, okay? And you got to think, J Cole knows both of them. Yeah. So J Cole has heard conversations between Drake. He's heard conversations between Kendrick. Yeah. And J Cole knows. Who the fuck knows what they know about me? <laughs> we all, we've done tours together. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't trust none of this also, shit. Yeah. Who's got a more pristine image than J. Cole? Whose image would be more destroyed? Drake's image ain't really that destroyed. Nah, no, 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 no. Actually, let me take I that back. You. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But, but... Drake is already like he's out known for fucking girls and partying, doing all this kind of shit. J. Cole is like, I'm the good guy who supports your community and do all these things. What if Kinda. Kendrick drops some crazy shit about J. Cole where he says, Yeah, you told me in private you hate black women, they smell weird. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what the Why fuck? Lying, man? I'm just saying, like, it's over for J. Cole, right? You gotta run. Why yeah? <laughs> what? <laughs> It's a big problem. Oh, it is a big That's problem if he said shit. that. They told, they told me every time they see you on videos on city bikes riding through New York, you're trying to get away get from away black, from black women. women. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That doesn't make that sense. That would be funny Facts as though. shit. Facts though. Or I figured that he, doesn't want, he didn't tell his wife everything, probably. He don't want his wife to know either. You think? 
<laughs> Do you yeah. think the rapper, I, Andrew yeah. brings up a why? good Andrew brings up a good point. I don't know why no rappers are coming to Drake's defense. Because they don't like it. Murdered by Kendrick you either. Know, what you, you mean? You know what's also going what? viral right now? Every, you don't think Kendrick would add them into hold, the mix? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Every single person inserted themselves in music has been liking comments, That's commenting, right. telling on Kendrick's behalf. There is everybody's been vocal. They've been celebrating. Like it's been crazy the support Kendrick has. There has not been a single person. There hasn't even been someone who came out and said, yo, the, the pedophile shit is corny. Like, what the hell is going on? I'm, like, I'm, I'm an OG Drake hater, and I'm the only person saying the pedophile shit is corny. But I think, I, I think, I think the white feeder shit is corny, too. I think, the, I think that Gilly. I think that should I think both, if, if they fall, if it's false, I think both of this shit is corny. It's, yeah. it's got to be false. First like, of all, you, people, they, people be using oh, the word. I, I, I think the pedophile shit is 100% Do you false. Know what a pedophile, we, you know what a pedophile is, right? Do we know what the pure definition of a pedophile is? We don't is? need it. It's Chris, just under 18. No, Chris, what, no, no, it's, it's not under 18. No, it's not under 18. Yeah, but I, we don't need Chris, to break it up. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, but no, no, no. What is the pure definition of a pedophile? I have no idea. Why it's a person who likes. He's such an asshole. He's such an asshole. Right answer. Smart <laughs> fucking right man. Answer. Chris, correct <laughs> answer, my boy. Correct. <laughs> oh, yo, Chris, I wasn't even trying to be funny. Chris, I wasn't even trying to be funny. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. I just know Chris is the smart guy. The definition of a person. A person who is sexual. Attracted to children, and it is children before puberty. That, look, listen, listen. You <laughs> that's why, but that's why it's so. Yeah, but but yeah, that's but, why it's so liable when you use that word yes, on somebody. I understand what you're saying, but like for for all intents and purposes, we're just talking about underage. So it could be under 18. What are you doing now? No. Okay. What is that? No, no, stop it. Okay. So what about what about states where the legal age of consent is 17? No, it's a, it's under 18. Like, stop it. Like, no, uh, uh, you can't say that, Schultz. I I just did because a pedophile <laughs> a, pe a, pedof a pedophile is not a person who messes with a girl under the age of 18. A pedophile is a person who messes with little children that haven't even hit puberty. Yet. No, but that's no, what no, they no were a pedophile is if, if you're messing with a girl under 18 and you're yeah. over. Now, now, listen. There are these like weird rules or something like that. Like, let's say for example, like. Um, you, your high school sweethearts, one of you is 18 and one of you is 17. Then one of you turns 19 and the other turns 18. I don't think you're a pedophile. Yeah. Right? Like, mm -hmm. this is, you know what I mean? Like, so that that's, how, we're talking about a guy who's in their 30s dating a fucking 14 year old. Dad. Oh, come on. But that, come on. Yes. Yeah. Okay. They're going to fucking jail. Okay, okay. But that's yeah, yeah, what yeah. he's talking about in this scenario. Yes, exactly. So what, this is what I'm trying to say. This is what I'm trying to say. Drake, first of all, there's no evidence of this at all. None. And then people are trying to like string together narratives and it's fucked up because like, you don't really care about the kids. Because if you really cared about the kids, you wouldn't have waited for you guys to have a diss battle in order to bring this up. But that's what I feel about both of them. Oh, no, no, no. I, and, and Drake doesn't really care about right. the abuse because you would have said that's this right. before. So again, right. you guys are both using like a really awful thing. Me tooing each other for a rap feud for, is corny yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck. It, it, it is whack because at, if you really cared about the kids, you would have brought this up early. Or if right? you cared about the woman being and abused. And if you cared about woman being, exactly. So, you, so you're bringing up these horrible things for self-interest. Now again, it's a rap beef so everybody says the wild shit. Oh, right. But y'all don't really believe this and if everybody else who's quiet all of a sudden starts believing it, you ain't believe it when he gave you your number one single. That's what I'm or saying. Or did you believe it and you looked the other way? That's now what I'm you saying. even more corny. That's what, that's what I'm saying. The me the, me toying each other in a rap feud just nah. because y'all mad at each other as rappers, yeah. that's corny as fuck. Yes, 100%. Right, that's, that's, that, by the way, that's the most corny thing that came out of this whole situation. So I'm, yeah, I'm going to choose to not believe. Agreed. I'm going to choose to not believe both of them. Both of those scenarios. I agree. Um, but as far as nobody supporting Drake, it is very peculiar to me and it makes me, and academics brought this up on, on Flagrant, so I, I got to give him credit for this, but it's like, Academics kind of posited the theory that Drake fucks everybody's girls. And I don't know if he's doing that. I don't know Drake, but I can't fathom another situation where the entire music industry has basically come together to be like, fuck this guy. By the way, also, too, I'll I give you another scenario. It's not like Drake is out here looking like he's getting beat up. Drake is out here handling his handle. Drake is literally over here with his hand on five people while he's swinging at Kendrick. It's not like he's out here getting his ass kicked. That's the other beautiful thing about Family Matters, the same reason I like push-ups. He went out about five different people on Family Matters. He gave ASAP Rocky some bar bars. bars. Mm -hmm. He gave The Weeknd some bars bars. He gave Ross some bars bars. Like, he is... He, 
he, he, if anybody he waved the white flag for in this whole shit is Future. Because yeah. he was like, yo, me and Future he ain't did. even got no issue. He was like, yo, I, I hate the fact that me and Future not seeing eye to eye right now because we don't even really got no smoke, but I know that Metro probably influenced you sure. on some bullshit. I think Drake got heart. And he definitely Ooh, yes he show, does. showed his like MC skill to the highest degree and on that. He's record. nice. And, and that is why when I see Quest Love say things like hip hop is dead, pull up what Quest Love said. And I, you know, I fuck with Quest Love heavy. But I didn't like this statement. And the reason I didn't like this statement is because Drake's security guard gets shot in Toronto. Yeah. And everybody automatically just starts assuming this has something to do with the Kendrick Lamar beef. Why? I had people saying to me, well, that's what happens when you take somebody's house and use it as an album cover. Who the fuck don't know Drake's address? Yeah. Right. Like, that's like posting the White House. Yeah. <laughs> like, every, like that house in, in Toronto, Drake, I've even seen videos, and I, I saw this watching Act Scream. Act played a video where Drake said something like he wants this to be like a monument when he's gone. Mm -hmm. It's like there, right? So listen to what Questlove said. Is that it? Yeah. What did he say? Nobody won the war. This wasn't about skill. This was a wrestling match. Level mud slinging. Something, I don't know. Level. This is a wrestling match level oh, mud yeah, this slinging is a match and takedown down by any means yeah. necessary. Women, Women and, and children. And actual be damned. facts. Be damned. He wrote before declaring hip-hop hip -hop to be, be dead. dead. Same audience wanting blood will soon put up RIP posts like they weren't part of the problem. Hip-hop is truly dead. Here's the problem I have with this, right? We're all of a certain age. I'm 45 years old. I was born in 1978. Quest Love is older than me. And you know, when you get older, you do have a, a, a different level of wisdom and you yeah. can look back on certain things yep. and say, you know, you can look at certain things now and say, hey, that's wrong. Yep. But you have to first acknowledge the role we played in it back in the day. Because take off when Jay-Z and Jay-Z and Nas were definitely doing wrestling match level mudslinging. They were definitely bringing women and children into the situation. Jay-Z was out here saying he was sleeping with Nas baby mama. Jay-Z said he left condoms on the baby yeah. seat. You know, Nas out here calling Jay-Z gay and saying he got dick sucking lips and all this other stuff. Like that was wrestling match level mudslinging. Quest Love, you was on stage with Jay-Z playing the drums while he was doing TakeOver. You know what I'm saying? So it's like my whole thing is like, before you chastise these young men. Put yourself in their let's shoes. That's or right, that's right. Now, do I agree with him that the stuff that Drake and Kendrick are saying, when I heard Family Matters and then I heard Meet the Grams on Friday night, I was like, there's no way it left to go but violence after this. Wow. <laughs> there's no way it left to go. Like, literally, I, I, I said that to myself. I'm like, there's nowhere to go. Like, this is not rap anymore. You said they took it to hell. They took it to hell. <laughs> they did, they did. I'm like, God, I was actually disappointed in both of them because I didn't think either one of them would take it to hell. When you listen to Euphoria and Kendrick's breaking down as a psychological analysis of a man, cool. You know what I mean? You listen to push-ups, you're making jokes about... You know, splits and all that, that other stuff. And being about short his wife. And, and the, the wife, the wife line. The was wife like, is. And we knew that was going to cause problems. Yeah. But even even then, it didn't cause Kendrick to go to hell yeah. on Euphoria. <laughs> he heard Family Matters, hell. and Kendrick had a record ready for Satan. He was like, as soon as you <laughs> hit the elevator button down to H, <laughs> Meet you I'm there. coming right behind you, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. And guess what? Satan was down there like, love it. Drake, that was good, <laughs> but this shit here, <laughs> this shit right here is what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah. So my whole thing with Quest is I, I, I salute Quest and I respect it, but you got to acknowledge the role that we all played in it. And I don't like people trying to make it seem like the dude getting shot in, in Canada had anything to do with Kendrick and Drake. That's a whole nother country. Yeah. How do I mean, we know that's not an isolated incident? We also don't know that it doesn't. We don't know that it doesn't. But, but why just jump out and say it because does? Because of the timing, just optics, optics. But I definitely agree with you on what you said on the Quest Love note. Sorry, can I just say one thing before I forget? Mm -hmm. The reason why, Charlemagne, we think that it had something to do with it, and this is what nobody wants to say out loud, but it is the truth. Is because we want it to have something to do. <laughs> no, yeah, no, 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 no. It's not true. Hear what I'm saying. Hear, hear, no, hear what I'm saying. Hear what I'm saying. People are looking at this like wrestling. They're looking at this like a soap opera. They're looking at this like some TV show, right? And it, there's a it, romanticism is the wrong word. I don't mean like romantic as in like sexual. I mean there is something naughty and romantic about the idea that now this beef that we saw taking place in music, now it's actually hit the streets. And what the reason people are connecting those dots is because on some fucked up primal level, 
they want this to happen. Or they want to be right. Like if you're a person that's sitting around saying, yeah, they, man, they, they want their feelings. This, this can turn the violence. As soon as something like this happens. But nobody's looking at this. Los Angeles Times security guard shot near Encino home of the weekend's co-manager in possible attempted home invasion. This was April 29th. How do we know this wasn't was retaliation? In regards to what you said, I, I feel like the primal instinct isn't necessarily human nature. I think it's more so because the last massive rap beef that we watched ended with two people dying. And it's oh, horrible. It Nobody died in Drake Meek Mill. <laughs> the last massive? I feel like this is big. The last yeah. massive was probably this, this is Jay -Z. Tupac Jay -Z. and Nobody Biggie. died in Jay Z Nas. Exactly. All right, all right. Tupac and Biggie. Like, this is huge. You're this right. is their they biggest hit, records. They were hitting to under date. the belt, too, though. Like, You're right. This is crazy. The, the, but, the, the sad yeah, part about a, the Biggie Pac shit is that Biggie never said anything. Like, Biggie never said nothing. Like, well, it, was, it was all one sided. But, First off, fuck your. That was Pop. That's so Pop. no, what was uh, what was Biggie's shit? Who shot you? Who shot you? Who shot you? But they, they said that was the just a opposite. coincidence. Yeah. And I believe Allegedly. that. Allegedly. I don't know. Timing, the optics. It's the same thing. The song thing. was recorded before. Yeah, back then, they, those but guys optics. recorded music so the much in advance. Like, that's the same reason why uh, the right, shooting though? looks Going crazy. Back to Cali. But Nala's right. Optics. It and like when it comes to the Quest Love thing, something that I realized also, because I feel how I feel about like men and music, misogyny, et cetera. But I think like uh, the the deep Pac chakra quote, that's like everybody's operating at their own level of consciousness. That's right. That's right. Like it's like, all right, some of Kendrick's bars ain't gonna penetrate to some people just because they're not on that level of consciousness. And I think that translates in his albums, like to pimp a butterfly, people would be like, oh, I don't feel like reading a book. If you're a book reader and you know that book, you're into the album because you understand that level of art. Mm -hmm. So I feel like where um, Quest Love is and his level of consciousness being in hip hop for this long, like that's why he's where he's at. Yes, but I just think that you have to acknowledge where you were to put more context on it. And I, and I, and I don't know if Quest Love makes that statement if that shooting doesn't happen at Drake's house. But once again, why are we just automatically saying that that shooting has something to do with Kendrick versus Drake because we're not saying that in regards to Drake in The Weeknd because we don't put the negative connotation on the type of music The Weeknd does. Mm -hmm. We put a negative connotation on, on rap and rap music and we always want to blame the media and say the media is portraying us in a negative light. Why are we portraying ourselves yeah. in a negative light? We don't know why that security guard got shot. That could be first of all, God, be first of all God bless that security guard. Yeah. I hope he pulls through sending healing energy to him and his family, but we don't know why that happened. Yeah. Why do people have to be so quick to rush to uh, uh, the judgment? Or, or, or we, why do we have to speculate? And if we are going to speculate, let's come up with some better shit. It could have just, just been saying Kendrick LA. versus Drake is lazy. <laughs> could have just been another LA home invasion. Or it could have been. No, that was in, but, that was in but, Canada. But, no, but the, the, the reason why they're right. doing that is because Toronto isn't a city that has big gun problems. They had like, two. They, they was a shoot. They was. They had two shootings that day. There was another yeah, shooting like right true. up the street. They, they've had. They have big gun problems. The, for Canada, yeah. Oh. We can't compare it to the U.S. Obviously, because the gun sounds different. To. But like, but yeah, they have had some issues, and like, there are people to get down out there. Mm -hmm. I, got, I mean, I got way better scenarios. Number one weekend, a security guard got shot at the weekend's manager's house a couple weeks ago. What if that was retaliation? I don't know if that's the case. I'm just throwing it out there. What if? What if there was an OVO mole and they thought that the security guard was the OVO mole? Mm -hmm. I'm just no. saying. I'm just saying. I heard that. It's definitely given there's a mole, I'm just though. just saying. The good owls, you know what I mean? The good owls get together. <laughs> you know, you thought the good fellas was a hell of a mob. The Nothing snaps. like them goddamn good owls. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. There's other scenarios that are better than just Kendrick Drake. Yo, if Kendrick Lamar is able to get somebody touched in Toronto, the six is his. <laughs> I, well, he I, should get lifetime <laughs> floor seats to the Raptors games. He should get equity in the Toronto Raptors team if he is able to make something like that happen. He, we know that's some foolishness. He, he, we know that's not the case. Here's the question. Here's the question. Is, Ken, is Kendrick Lamar a useful... The term is useful idiot. I wouldn't call him a useful idiot. But is Kendrick Lamar a useful uh, artist, a useful figure, a useful person in a beef that really doesn't have anything to do with him? For example, is this really between 
Metro and all the dudes that have come together. I get what is it, XO yeah. and Drake, and they kind of let Kendrick do their bidding. And Kendrick wants to smoke, but he might not even realize that he's the one that's actually been placed as the executioner for a beef that really got nothing to do with him. Mm. That's a possibility, but what's the saying? An enemy of my enemy is my friend. Well, one thousand uh, percent, and and he's willing to do it. He's down to do it. Yeah, he's down to do it. The, like, hey. the true beneficiaries. Oh, who, yeah, yeah. Are the ones who have ignited this in the first place. Yeah, he's done. I mean, but that's why you go and get Kendrick. You go and get Kendrick, strategically put him on like that. You tell him what this album is. You tell him what this album is about. And Kendrick decides to Kendrick's go. Kendrick's like, oh, I'll do it. Yeah, exactly. And then they all sit back yeah. and they go, oh, shit. Because none of them are going bar for bar for Drake. I'll tell you that yeah. Yeah. for sure. By the way, I'm not mad at it because Kendrick has always wanted to smoke with these other rappers. For sure. He's always consistently put out there that this is what I want. I want to go to war. Bless you. Absolutely. So, you know, you think about control, whatever control was, all these years later these three guys are still the guys and Kendrick decides you know what it's time to go fucking owl hunting I want it I need like cause, cause at the end of the day there can only be one right I guess you know where Drake fucked up in this whole thing not putting There's out a, a box. couple of things no. though this is where he fucked up in this whole thing he he dropped his meat video <laughs> he mentioned that though. Phenomenal line in Family oh Matters. But here's the thing. Phenomenal bar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But if think about this. Let's say, for example, he's getting washed in the battle, right? You kill a story with a story. You drop the meat video. <laughs> not, 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 just wait, just wait. If it never went out, you drop the meat video. The internet stops listening to the song, talk about the whole internet is just gonna talk about the meat video. And then you tell Kendrick, yo, let's go meet for meat. <laughs> and you he know, stupid. No, no, no. Kendrick is not going meet for Why meat. Not? You can't drop Why you not? can't drop a meat video after getting called a pedophile, bro. That is the exactly. last thing you want to do, bro. <laughs> exactly. You got called a pedophile that is, that and your is answer real, is to put your dick exactly. on. <laughs> nah, you don't drop it yourself. Someone else drops it. Nah. I forgot to mention too. He completely got Mr. Morale wrong too, though. What in the mean? I Heart Six, or whatever, because he was saying that Kendrick got molested and everything. Like he did it all wrong. Like he clearly didn't listen to the song. I think he oh, misinterpreted really? the record. Yes, he completely misinterpreted it. He, no. mis he misinterpreted. But the that's record. why those who aren't vibing on the correct frequency won't understand <laughs> his whole point. I don't even know what that what means. What do you mean? What you trying to say? Uh, is, the, what you said before, right? Yeah, about yeah, yeah. Deepak Chakra. Everybody's operating at their own level of consciousness. So like yeah. what Drake is saying, and I mean, what Kendrick is saying is euphoria. It's like you make hits that put people to sleep. And I'm, you know, giving well, he's people... Like, yeah, I pa you, pa you pacify people, I electrify people. Yeah, so he said, those who will be able to understand and decipher the Easter eggs and what Kendrick is really saying will understand. I Drake just... is not one of those because even when he listens to a record, he ends up thinking Kendrick was molested. Let's, let's, let's was say... Kendrick not molested? I, I, I got to listen to the record again. I, 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 when I heard it, I felt like he, he was... misinterpreted what he was saying. But well, He wasn't... What is he saying? To me, if... I mean... We don't want to know what to you. We want to know what it is. Yeah. Pull it up. Pull it up. <laughs> we don't want to know to you, Taylor. Now I know. Now I do. Now, now I do want to know. Just for content Taylor. Yeah, yeah. oh Taylor, God. Taylor. Uh, before we think, find out what it really is. Before we find out <laughs> what on. really happened. The Taylor made it's versions fine. do be good. Yeah. Those so Taylor made good. versions of shit do be good. Taylor, tell us. Okay. No, when Taylor, when Taylor gets to de designing her own shit, it is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, come on, bring it down. Tell us what happened no, in the song. It's all good now. But um, <laughs> yeah. That's so petty. I mean, listen. <laughs> tell me what happened in the song. I don't remember. I'm about to bring she you up. Pull it up. I, I do love the fact that everybody's going back to listen to Mr. Morale and too. the Big Steppers because I told people <laughs> Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers is going to go down in the future as the most important hip hop album of all time. That and Jay Z's 444. So it really is good that he's that people are going back listening to that project. Mm -hmm. What's the line, Alex? I'm trying to find the song. I'm still looking for it. It's, yeah, I don't... Uh, the song is Mother. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember him... Who molested? Saying he got molested. He didn't... In that song. I think it was an observation. He, they were, I felt like he was saying that they thought that he was getting molested. They were asking him. Because it was really his uh, cousin or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. thought he was getting molested. I don't no, know. No, now we got to pull this up. That's one of those up. things where it's like... No, but that's, but no, because he says in the song, he's like, they're, they asked if I got molested, and I said no, but they didn't believe me. I mean, I really don't... I can't believe how bad, strategically... What's going on Drake in fucked this up? Yo. Yeah. <laughs> that's a little crazy. What's going but on, yo? It's the morale of the people. Like, you guys are annoying. 
Huh? What? what did that mean? Come on, Taylor. Just explain I'm yourself. Use your, use your words. Use your words. Taylor, use your words. Go. You guys don't let me. So it doesn't matter. We, won't we was you, listening. <laughs> We're asking you to do it. Look, here's the lyrics. Start so, off with A. Here's the lyric. Then it's B, then it's C. What? What are you showing me? The lyric. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Stupid. I don't care. If, I, I, listen, here's the thing. <laughs> did he touch you, Kendrick? Never lied, but no one believed me when I said he didn't. That's what I said. Yeah. Frozen moment still holding so on. So they it. they thought Talk, that he was touched, myself. but he's rhyme. saying he wasn't Trust touched. Myself. So they didn't believe him life. when he said he wasn't. Mm -hmm. So his family was like, yeah, you did get molested. Find some help and he was like, nah. I don't remember. I got to go back and listen. I really have <laughs> to listen to it. Because knowing Ken Kendrick might have a, a flip at the end. I don't remember. Yeah, I'm not listening to that shit. No, I love Mr. Morale. <laughs> Everybody should listen to Mr. Morale. I don't want to listen to Mr. Morale. Everyone should listen to Mr. Morale. Molestation music. I'm not listening to that. Molestation music is crazy. Oh, I'm not listening to none of that shit. Somebody broke it down on Reddit. Why wouldn't you want to hear molestation music? You don't want to hear music that touches you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. It touches your fucking this guy, soul. This guy's good. Why don't you want to hear music that touches your soul? That touches your fucking heart? That's a Boss. Show this guy's God show. Damn. What are you talking I don't about? Look at you. The like dark, the dark <laughs> drugs are show. crazy today. What are you talking about? <laughs> On Reddit, it says he's talking about slavery. The slave master rapes the slaves. They oh, make God. other Shut slaves the fuck watch up, out. Of Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, 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 that's <laughs> not about slavery. <laughs> this song is not about slavery. There's nothing about oh. this song that's about slavery. Yo, yo. Charlie, you're not on the right wavelength right man, now. The fuck <laughs> out, There's nothing about this song that's about that's slavery. That's what it says on Reddit. Did he touch you? They, somebody's talking to him. I put my sunglasses back on until y'all stop see? talking about diddling. What? <laughs> not diddling. That's all y'all talking high about high is high diddling. Man. Let me read it's the verse three. I, man, can we make gay jokes again? We are. We're going to get back to the gay jokes. Make it, <laughs> make it bigger. Y'all owe me an apology. For what? I said that. I said it's about his cousin or something like that. This is what geniuses say. We never said you was wrong. Yeah, but you never said I was fucking right either. So let me fuck You didn't say that. You didn't say that. You did not say that. You credit me like, no, we don't want to hear what you got to say. Blah, blah, blah. Taylor. Like, what the fuck you talking about? That, all right, it says sexual abuse, the toxicity of some families. Blah, blah, blah. It says sexual abuse, the toxicity of some families. The stigma in our community, it comes with needing help and asking for it. Once you get help, how hard it is for your family to face their trauma, breaking the cycle instead of letting your past control your yeah, futures. That's about right. I'm with that. I'm with that. Listen, the moral of the story is Drake lost. Uh, he just did. And, and you know how you know he lost? Because the people... Said he lost. Mm -hmm. Like and that and when, when we were sitting around saying, well, what's the ending gonna be? Yeah. The ending is always the people. Mm -hmm. and, and and he didn't necessarily lose because he was whack. Drake music was fantastic. Yeah. Drake competed at a high level. Drake actually, I always knew he could rap. Family matters is different. Crazy. Bro. No, no, no he that? killed it. He, he just got shit the fuck up. He got out strategy. He got yeah. out strategy. He couldn't win man. over the public. And that's the thing. It's like you yeah. you know going into it that the underdog has the public. The, the majority of people outside of your direct fan base are probably like, all right, it's time for that guy to get knocked off his pedestal. I feel so, like Drake had the public, It wasn't though. like that, Drake though. had the public we for a long your, time. See, everybody has prisoner the of the moment. second every, Kendrick dropped, a that shit flipped. Exactly. Yeah. Everybody's a prisoner of the moment. But when, when Drake dropped push-ups... Well, no. When Kendrick dropped like that, we was on Drake head. Yep. Like, motherfucker, yep. you don't want it with Kendrick. Where you at? Blah, 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 this and that. Then Drake drops push-ups, and we like... Oh, God shit. Damn. Okay. God damn. All right, Drake. Then Drake comes back with Taylor May with the artificial intelligence of Tupac and Snoop. I'm going to tell you something, Drake. That AI Tupac and Snoop gassed you up. Yeah. Because you was on there asking for it. And you got more than you motherfucking bargained for. <laughs> okay? When he you, said, I'm going to send it up to Pac, the way he brought back I know. Pac, like, right. yeah. And I was like, and, damn. And Pac sent it right back. <laughs> and you know that what starts great. with Pac? My you boy. You Pac? It starts with a P. You know what else starts with a P? Pyru. Pedophile. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right? That, both, both answers were that. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, that shit did not go the way Drake wanted it to go. Yeah. You hear me? And, um, yeah. Other than them both taking it to hell and me too and each other, I thought this was a fantastic battle, greatest hip hop battle I've I've ever witnessed, mm -hmm. and and in such a short time. So what does Drake do next? You got, you keep asking that. He, he go on vacation. He go on vacation. He so. goes to so Turkey and goes. Take some time. <laughs> off. He go on vacation. Yeah. Go on vacation. Maybe do some ayahuasca. Go on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> like after pushing, he just go on vacation. Let Kendrick like this is gonna be um this is gonna be a mighty mighty victory lap for Kendrick Lamar. And the reason it's gonna be a mighty mighty victory lap for Kendrick Lamar, because Kendrick Lamar is him.
And Kendrick Lamar has always been him. Kendrick Lamar is a man who this generation does not even appreciate, and I'll keep saying that over and over, nope. because he does not put out music the way everybody else puts out music. So he'll put out an album, wait four or five years, drop another album. He don't do a lot of features, and so being that he's out of sight, out of mind a lot, we don't appreciate him the way that we should. Yeah. The way motherfuckers talk about Kendrick Lamar is insane to me, as if he doesn't do this when he wants to. You know how good you gotta be to come back and change the temperature at your leisure mm -hmm. <laughs> at your leisure whenever i come out i'm what's moving i'm what's happening yeah i'm gonna win the grammy for best rap album i'm gonna be the motherfucker that's getting all the critical acclaim that is me kendrick is about to have a mighty victory lap and i'm gonna tell you what i want to see kendrick lamar do drop an album i want to see kendrick lamar do a straight west coast album Ooh. i want to see kendrick lamar do an album with 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 mustard some Dr. Dre production, oh, DJ yeah. Quick, Battle Cat. Go get all of these classic West Coast producers. The white dude? Scott Storch. Scott yeah. Storch. If Storch is with Dre, cool. <laughs> but I want him to go get these classic West Coast producers yeah. and give us a West Coast sounding album. Because I'm going to tell you something else that nobody's talking about when it comes to this battle. Number one, the West Coast sound is so phenomenal, bro. Phenomenal. As soon as you hear that Not Like Us, you just, Ooh. you ready to get beat up because you ain't got no business trip walking, <laughs> but you ready to take the risk. For real. You know what I'm saying? You you ready to throw up signs That's and all That's what's happening at Cash Nuts. Still respect LA, you idiots. Yeah. Yeah, I see y'all yeah, yeah. wilding out on your Instagrams and you're crip walking and you're throwing your shit up. Careful Don't now. Don't think you can just do that shit once you get off the airplane at LAX. Careful now. All right, you see Cash Not reaction? He did the same thing. He goes, I'm so sorry, God, I do not mean to. Apologize. <laughs> Kai fucking apologize, okay? Y'all don't start that shit now. LA is still to be respected. And I'm gonna tell you something else. Right, don't show you. <laughs> get into a diss record battle feud with anybody from LA. Nobody goes to hell like LA rappers. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Tupac hit him up. Oh yeah. Ice Cube, Ice Cube. no Vaseline. <laughs> Dr. Dre fucking Dre Day. These motherfuckers go Savage. to no. hell. Yes. Savage. That's what Drake stands for now, though. What? Don't rap against Drake. Don't rap against Kendrick Apple. I, 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 <laughs> I know. I just wanted to repeat it. She just wanted to share that. I know. <laughs> but I just wanted to repeat it. Tweet a million times. I just wanted and to repeat it. She thought nobody in this room knew that. I just wanted to repeat it. <laughs> Let me. Well, we're talking about the West Coast. I, I didn't know it. I didn't know it. We're I talking about the whole West Coast. Not just Kendrick. Okay, what? These people go to hell. Tupac <laughs> said, that's why I fucked your bitch, no, no. you fat, fat motherfucker. motherfucker. <laughs> Dr. Dre said, gap tea in your mouth so my dick got to fit. Oof. Ice Cube has a record full of anti-Semitism and homophobia. God damn. And it slaps. God damn. So not only will they shit on you and go to hell, the end they'll have slaps. the whole world dancing. Yeah, yeah. I can't, I, you don't, you can't, what you gonna do again? The that? end it slaps. Nobody <laughs> in rap music makes so better elite. diss records than West Coast rappers historically. I don't wow. give a fuck, okay? Fuck all that lyrical, miracle, spiritual shit. You know what I mean? We want to dance, and we want to motherfucking watch you get clowned. Mm -hmm. Their jokes be better, <laughs> the insults be horrible, and they be pops. Nothing you can do. Yeah, there's really nothing you can do. What can what can you fucking do, man? God damn. Talking about that. Round of applause, Kendrick Lamar. Woo! You did that. Drake, you have nothing to be ashamed of. Okay, <laughs> the only thing that can hurt you right now is your own pride and your own ego. Drake, Or these allegations really being true. Could you stop? Stop. Why would you even... No, they're not Why true. Why would they be true? You said there's only there's nothing that can hurt you right now. I'm just saying, or if that. <laughs> that could definitely... But the allegations could be true for Kendrick. They could hurt him, too. Yep. Yeah. You're right. Like, like we, not, we make this so one-sided. Like Whitney not following? I wasn't making yeah, it one-sided. I was just saying, like, like, God bless anyway, me. Anyway, yeah, let's I pay, don't let's, believe let's, either one or, is true. I don't believe either one is true. Yeah. Let's pay some bills. Um, shout out to Drake. Shout out to Kendrick for giving us a great moment in hip hop history, Amen. man. And when, never, when Kendrick comes with an album, I just hope it's a more. Y'all should uh, apologize for every not day. Like us, then. I want you. West Coast slaps. Yeah. I want a chronic. If he gives us an album of six six one six, I'm good on that. Man, get, yo, give me a give me YG's first album. My uh, what was that? My crazy life. Oh, that was slaps. Oof. 
Crazy. I don't want Kendrick to give me something like that. You don't That's think that Drake's going to try to come back with a bop, though, for real? Drake needs to go on being nah, I know, but you don't think, like, I'm saying his ego, you don't think he'll try to come he's out with it? He's going to come back with a hot He nine. is. He's I think so. And, and, and I good. think he will. And he'll uh, be I fine. think that's just his nature. Look, yeah, exactly. Drake ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Man, this yeah. is not about to be a Ja Rule situation. Y'all just yeah. fucking mind. So, of course not. Yeah, I'm what? not going to ask the same question. Tell me, tell me. <laughs> what are you going to ask? What do you think he's going to do? Yeah, it's just like, he, does he put out an album? Does he do Who, a song? Drake? Yeah, like. He, he can do whatever he wants. Drake can he's do whatever Drake. the fuck he wants. He's still goddamn Drake. Mm -hmm. I'm going Pyro, though. I'm not going to lie if I was Drake. I'm really uh, the, the wildest thing that Drake did is on Family Matters. He said, you know who banger set my man, CB. Yeah. I said, when I heard him say that, I was like, Drake don't know nothing about L.A. That <laughs> now, I'm not saying CB don't bang a set. All I'm simply saying is Chris Brown is not from L.A. Chris Brown got from jumped Virginia. into. <laughs> so there's, there's real gangbangers that you can't even mention in records, mm -hmm. is what I'm saying, right? But if, if that is what you're putting out to the public, Kendrick probably sitting back laughing his ass off like, oh, he don't know nothing hmm. about what's really going on out here. If that's who he thinks really banging the sets out here. Wait, so is it true that, I didn't look it up, but Drake has a show in Oakland soon? Because he's mentioned that in the record. I didn't like that line either. I don't like when Kendrick said that Oakland, that Oakland stop is going to be your last stop. Yeah, it's I don't scary. Like, I don't like people wishing Lovely. death on folks. Like, I don't like that shit. That's, I don't like that energy. Don't do that. Everything else is cool. Mm. Don't do that. Like, don't wish that's why on I people, fucked you know? your bitch, you fat I don't think they really Why would mean Faith it, Evans do that? <laughs> this seems like a really mean By thing. By the way, to, do. to your point about proof, <laughs> so mean. I saw my guy DJ Head salute DJ Head. Head was with Shout uh, out to Head. Elliot Wilson and Jeremy um, Jeremy Heck. They got a new show on Hip Hop DX, and Head was on the show, and um, Head was they was talking about proof and does proof matter in these these battles? And yes, it does. That's why I push your T. One against Drake, mm -hmm. because the things he said was true, and there was proof to it. You know, yeah. like he actually, like I said last week, he crushed the multi-million dollar Adidas deal. You know, because of that situation, he stepped on the roll out of Drake's son. Also, I don't know if it's true that Tupac and Faith got it yeah, in. Yeah, she denied but, it. I oh, she said that she, that never happened. Yeah, I know but, she denied but it. But guess what? We all saw that picture. What was the that picture? Picture <laughs> of Faith and Pac with Faith. Don't I'm, I'm, let me blur that out because I ain't know what the fuck that was. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm sorry. <laughs> West Coast, I'm sorry. You All can't right. even throw the West Coast up? I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gonna learn to respect LA. I've always respected LA. I mind my business. Who doesn't respect I, LA? I don't play with that shit. I, even, I'm telling you, you see, I don't don't let this be a repeat of make Fat Joe do another song where he tell y'all B2K crip walking like that's what's up. Leave that shit alone. This picture right here. Now, you drop something like this in the height of the East Coast, West Coast beef where you got a bad boy artist, my man's wife, no, that's crazy. Throwing up the west side. That's crazy. God damn. But why would she even do that? I don't know, but whether it was true or not. This is probably before, though, right? Her, look at the state that she looks in. Oh, she, oh, she's fucked up. She do look lit. Possibly. Oh, no, she looks oh. lit. Okay. But wasn't that a before picture, though? Hold on. Axe said Drake won the battle? No. He said... No, he said... Uh, this headline says, DJ Academics explains why Drake won the rap battle against Kendrick Lamar, even if all allegations both rappers made against one another are false. Man, no. Oh, he said, so, he said if both if both of them are lying, then he thinks Drake has better music out of out of the two. Man, that's because anyway. simple. That's what he said. Nah, that's not... He don't understand Kendrick, that's why. Fam, fam, family Matters, <laughs> family matters is the best <laughs> record. No, no, look. <laughs> Yeah, Fam around. Family Matters is the best record. <laughs> Euphoria. Not Like Us is the best song. But Euphoria is really the best record with the Easter and honestly, egg. It foreshadowed so much within the beef. Drake, Drake also song. probably just put that out too because Kendrick was up one when it came to songs like put out. Nah. Y'all really sleeping on Euphoria. I like it. Y'all really sleeping on Euphoria. I love it. I love it. We'll be talking about this for years to come, man. Okay. Years and years to come. All Drake, right. go on vacation. <laughs> you got a nice house in Turks and Caicos you building. I saw it. I won't tell Kendrick where it's at. I promise. <laughs> All, right. <No. laughs> All right. I did see it though. I saw it under construction. Thanks again to Squarespace for supporting this week's episode of the podcast. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time. All in one place, all on your terms. Start a completely personalized website with the new guided design system, Squarespace, Squarespace Blueprint. Choose from professionally curated layout and styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground 
wound up, tailored to your brand or business and optimized for every device. Easily launch your website and get discovered fast with integrated optimized SEO tools so you show up more often to more people and grow the way you want. With Fluid Engine, the next generation website editor from Squarespace, it's never been easier for anyone to unlock unbreakable creativity. Choose your website starting point and customize every design detail with reimagined drag and drop technology for desktop or mobile. Scratch your imagination online with Fluid Engine included in any new Squarespace site. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash idiots to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiots to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. You want to do chime, show? Damn right I want to do chime. Let me tell you something right now, okay? When you find new ways to save you can reach your financial goals easier and still have the occasional treat, okay? With a Chime checking account, you get features like fee-free overdraft up to $200 with SpotMe or getting paid up to two days early with direct deposit. You can learn more about all this at Chime.com slash idiots. I am telling you right now, Chime is going to put you in a situation where you are saving money, you have access to money, and with that, you're going to create a little bit more ease in your life. You can join millions of members who are working on financial progress. Chime has no monthly fees or maintenance fees. And with Chime, you can get access to over 60000 fee-free ATMs, get spotted on debit card purchases and cash withdrawals. And remember, Chime helps you make progress with fee-free overdraft up to $200. So set up direct deposit into your Chime account and qualifying direct deposit of a $200 plus, Chime will notify you to enroll in SpotMe. With an activated debit card, Chime will spot you up to your limit when you exceed your balance. Your next direct deposit is applied to your negative balance. Chime never charges fees or interest for using SpotMe. I'm telling you, you can take control of your finances and say goodbye to monthly fees. Open your account in minutes at chime.com slash idiots. That's chime.com slash idiots. Chime feels like progress. Now, some mandatory disclosures here. Banking services and debit card provided by the Bank Corp Bank. NA or Stride Bank and A member at members FDIC spot me eligibility requirements and overdraft limits apply. Boosts are available to eligible Chime members enrolled in spot me and are subject to monthly limits. Terms and conditions apply. Go to chime.com slash disclosures for details. Now let's get back to the show. Let's do some church announcements. Show it's what you got, man. Um this Thursday, uh Staples Center or Crypto, crypto.com arena. Um, thank you guys so much. It sold out, man. So very excited. Uh, Shane Gillis is going to be on the show as well. We're doing this one together. You don't uh, need him. He's a, <laughs> he's Shout a, out to Shane. Yeah, he's hilarious. Man, you're doing man. a lot of favors, man. I, I, I like you. I, I like you. Shane is killing it. Shane is out there I killing it. I fuck with Shane. Shane but let's not it. act like my heavy ain't out here holding the comedy world up on his goddamn shoulders. I like the fact you're still out here keeping it real, man. No, Shane you know, is killing it. Man. Shane is absolutely killing it right now. Fuck all that. Yes. <laughs> you don't got, got to say it. I will. Fuck all fuck that. Fuck bitch. And I just finished watching. Listen, and I just Dude. finished watching this video. Can we be friends? I, I, I have no nah. friends, Charlotte. I'm with you. You might not need him. Is Drake, is Drake out here worried about his fucking friends right now? He need him. <laughs> I'm looking at this shit. This video time to dream up some new dreams, man. This shit is incredible, yeah. Shout out to Vala, man. He just cooked that one. Nah, this shit is incredible. Because I, 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 I remember you saying that at Radio City at the end, and I remember us. Like, damn, show sold out Radio City. And I remember you at the end saying, next time we do this, we're going to do it with a Knicks play. And I believed. But that shit wasn't even a... It hasn't been a year. No, nah, it was like two years. Really? Yeah, I think that we did that in 2022, and this was 2024. Radio City was 2022? Mm -hmm. God so. damn, Tommy Flynn. That shit felt like fall of 23. Right? Shit. Yeah, yeah. But think about that. All right, so you put in the groundwork for a whole year, around yeah. the country. We I went out of the country. Yeah, we went out first... The first, the first like major tour stop was in Toronto when we did the Raptors Arena out there, and that was like, oh shit, I think we got a little something. But I was working on the set without even going anywhere for a while, just piecing it together in the city. And then obviously the set is about you know what what I went through and my wife went through. Yeah, so fantastic, by the way. Thank you, man. Thank like you. phenomenal. I've I've never seen a man talk like that. Oh, thank well, you. Man. And I'm not even talking about in stand up. I'm just talking about in general. Yeah, men Thanks. don't have those conversations. That's cool. And I loved it because it was just the right amount of misogyny. 
<laughs> and then it just came right. <laughs> like it was because it's you got to watch. I don't want to give it away, but sure. it's great. Thank you. Like man. it's phenomenal. Like yeah. oh shit. Like I don't know, man. You're gonna have to start having some different conversations about Schultzy. Oh, thank this you. This ain't man. just about packing arenas. This is about who's the motherfucking goat. Thank you, man. That's it cool. is. That's cool, man. You might need to name your next shit Euphoria. <laughs> or not, or not, name your next special not like us. I'm serious, Thank yo. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. Somebody got to get it. Thank you, Who's man. Who's it going to be? <laughs> Who the it's fuck is it going to be? He just wants Who constant it war. Be? Yeah. Who's it going to be, god damn it? Who's it going to be? <laughs> okay. we, we needed a bigger break from the Drake Kendrick shit. <laughs> right, I know. Yeah, that we're addicted. We just need constant but, chaos. I'm being honest with you, though, but you know what's so interesting? All the goats know. All the goats know. What does that mean? Like all the goats know, Schultz is the goat. I, I like. I, I, I was. I was. I was invited. I invited somebody to the show. Right. I'll show it to you. I ain't gonna say who it is. And it's, I'm, the person. I don't know if the person ever said this publicly. He might have said it to you before. But look, what, what's that? I said, I said, yo, yeah. He goes, I'm in LA. I like him. He's funny. And and if you know him. That's not an easy thing to say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like they all know. Yeah. But if eventually they gotta acknowledge it. That's yeah. what it's, that's all it is. Yeah. So you just keep putting pressure on them until they acknowledge it. <laughs> if not. Pedophile room is coming, baby. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> right? oh my. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We can do this the easy way or the motherfucking wrong way. How the fuck y'all want it to go down? God damn it. Okay. Oh, man. Shit. What else we got, Taylor? <laughs> Chris is still in shock, bro. He hasn't said a word. He hasn't said a word for the last 45 minutes, y'all. He said that frozen, bro. Oh, that lie disease kicking in, bro. We need to help. Yo, somebody get water, yo. Yeah. Well, I, I, I do want to ask a question about the roast, if I can. Oh, oh yeah, please, please. For sure, for sure. Uh, I mean, not with getting into specifics, but like, so it happens, you do your thing. Yeah. Killed it. When it's over, how do you interact with the people that you just... Great question. Chris. What's that... Vibe, like, because I thought I saw a clip of you like shaking Dana White's hand, and it's oh, Dana's the man. So there's no <laughs> Dana's the man. Right, Dana, Dana, Dana gets it. He loves right. it. He's like just a wild motherfucker, and uh, yeah, he's just so. I, I, I mean, as far as I was concerned, I thought he was super cool about it. Like he understands the point of of this, like, and he signed up for it. He didn't have to do it, but he's like, all right, fuck it, I'll go up there, I'll do it. And then the athletes, they were all good. The comics, everybody knows what time it is. What like, about Kim? How she act after? I didn't know Kim was gonna be there. I wish I did. Why? Was that the joke for? <laughs> yes. Yeah, she was out there with the boneless waist action going Son, on. It was. She was right in front of me, and I remember sitting down and when I came onto the dais, and I saw the chair, and it said Kim K in the chair, and I was like, get the fuck out of here! How the hell did nobody tell me about this? And I think they didn't tell on purpose because <laughs> I don't. I think they didn't want the dais to cook her up mm, too bad so they're like Who's we're the not dais? gonna the dais meaning like the people who uh who are doing oh, the roasting oh yeah yeah so yeah. they're like all right let's not tell them she's gonna be here because if they did tell us we ain't even talking about yeah, tom because i ain't had no kim k jokes oh shit yeah i didn't yeah, hear nobody there, there was i didn't two. hear any who had kim k jokes oh. i think there tony was... hit her yeah, yeah. There's two. Tom hit her. Yeah. Tom, Tom Brady hit her. her. Tom hit her, and then uh, Tom probably hit her for real. Facts. One made a joke Facts. about Kanye <laughs> being her husband, and then another oh, made a joke that. about I did see her that. having sex with all the black men. Yeah. yeah. You know what I love about this roast? I love that there was people who came out offended. You know, like Tom Brady's ex-wife, and you know the family of Aaron Hernandez, and nobody gave nobody a give a fuck. fuck. <laughs> shut up. It was like the family of Aaron a Hernandez need to shut the fuck up. Now, I'm not going to say all that because I don't know if that runs <laughs> he in the family. He murdered people. He can't get a joke. Sure. But we don't know if it runs in the family. So we might need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? You're right. You're right. My, bad, yo, my, bad. <laughs> saying, my bad, yo. My bad. My bad. My bad. I hey, don't guys, know. Let's hang on for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to kill this whole segment. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> kill this, whole segment. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> But shot, the rose was guys, fantastic. You know, I, I, I thought that I'm being dead serious with you right now. I thought it was going to be an absolute shit show. Really? Really? Yeah, it's live. Yes. You got yes. people who never done comedy before, have never told jokes before, standing in front of 13,000 people. 
Right? So now. 13,000? Yeah, it was at the forum. Oh, that shit you sold out by your motherfucking self? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that shit you sold out by your motherfucking self? So okay. I, was, I ain't gonna lie. I was looking around. If I saw an empty seat, I'm like, come on, Tom. Come on, Tom. I ain't Hey, bro. Stop. You would have told me I would have tweeted something. You know what I mean? I would have let him know I was yeah. going to be here. You know what I'm saying? No, no. It, it was just, it had every opportunity to be horrible. Mm hmm and it ended up being awesome. And it's really, what makes a rose good is just, are the athletes or are the non-comedians gonna be good? If they're good, it's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. If they suck, if like what Ben Affleck did, is gonna be bad. Thank God Ben Affleck was at the end. <laughs> That guy, there? son, he came on. He was, did Drake wasn't getting it? anything. So he didn't watch it. He watched my clip. I watched, he watched it. My, I did. I did. Yeah, I'm not so he watched my clip. I He's did. like, it's the greatest road trip. I watched some of Kev. I watched some of Kev. I watched some of Andrew. I watched Tom. I watched some of Nikki Glazer. Yo, Nikki killed. She was good. Nikki killed. Tony killed. And I got to I got to shout out Kev because Kev. I did get that. Kev okay. saved my ass, yo. Wow. Why? So right before. Right before me, Rob Gronkowski goes on. And Gronk is really, like, he's not playing a character. Like, that motherfucker is, like, right before... He's really Groot from fucking Guardians of the it's Galaxy. It's not even Groot. It's, like, like, you know you know the chart when we're a little monkey still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's that. So, like, Lenny from Mice and Men? Yes! Okay, okay. <laughs> yes! Got you, got you. And, got you. like, whatever you, he gets excited about, he just does. Like, he don't think about the repercussions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's the type of person, like, if we're on a room, we're like, yo, 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 yo. Go take Chris's dick out and see if you could cut a piece of it off. And he'd be like, no, nah, that's weird. And be like, come on, come on, come on. He'd be like, all right, fuck it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, 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 like, yeah. So he takes a shot with Belichick and Kraft and Brady. And then he takes the real shot glass and spikes it down. It explodes, hits some chick in the front row. No. Dead ass. This girl's holding her face for like three minutes. I'm up next. So I'm like, God damn, it's already three hours into this fucking roast. Yeah. I got to acknowledge this shit and then whatever. And to Kevin Hart's credit, he did like a old school comedian hosting a show thing. Something crazy happens in a room. He reset the whole room. He went up on the podium. On he, live TV? On live TV. He, he takes his time. He goes, all right, that was a little bit weird. He chills. He chills. He settles the whole room. Then he starts to joke around a little bit, tells some other jokes. And by the time he brings me up, the room has moved on from what Rob did. Yeah, so yeah, now yeah, I don't yeah. have to acknowledge it. And I dapped, I was like, bro, thank you so much. You know you saved my ass? He goes, bro, of course, I'm not gonna let you go up after that. So the fact that he did it. Professional. Right. Yo. Yeah, consummate professional. Yo. The Shout out the illest. Nice. He, he, really, he really owned that shit. Like, there are people who host it and they're just getting through it. He hosts it like a black comedy show. Yeah, and if you yeah, haven't been yeah. to a black comedy show, you don't know what we're talking yeah. about, but like, the host of the black comedy show, that's their show. Yeah, 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 absolutely. The white shows, the host is there to kind of like get things moving and then like it's, yeah. but. If you've ever watched Def Comedy Jam, you see Martin. It's when Martin's show. control the room. Absolutely, exactly. Absolutely. And in between every comic, he was doing his thing. Like, dad, he put on a clinic, bro. I ain't gonna lie. He, he really killed that uh, shit. Kevin's the guy. What else we got, Taylor Gang? Let's do some, uh, huh? Yeah, announcements. What's my announcement? Oh, get honest or die lying. Why small talk sucks. It'll be out May 21st. Bookstores everywhere. Uh, everywhere you buy books. This is my third book. You can go to whysmalltalksucks.com uh, to see which cities I'm coming to. I'm actually starting off with 12 dates, I believe. So I will be in, uh, on May 22nd, I'll be in New York at the Barnes & Noble on 5th Avenue at 1 p.m. Um, then at 5 p.m., I'll be at the Barnes & Noble, Paramus, Paramus, New Jersey. May 23rd, I'll be at Green Street Friends School with Uncle Bobby's Coffee and Books in Philadelphia. May 25th, I'll be in uh, Coral Gables, Florida at Books & Books at 2 p.m. May 29th, I'll be at Charleston Music Hall with Blue Bicycle Books at 7 p.m. May 30th, I'll be at First Baptist Church of Decatur with Eagle Eye Bookshop uh, at 7 p.m. June 4th, I'll be at the Ark with Books for Sale by Mahogany Books in Washington, D.C. June 6th, I'll be at the Strand Bookstore in New York City at 7 p.m. June 8th, I'll be uh, at Books a Million, Arundel Mills, Hanover, Maryland. June 13th, I'll be at the Barnes & Noble in Las Vegas, Nevada at 7 p.m. And June 14th, I'll be at the Barnes & Noble at the Grove in L.A., baby. So whysmalltalksucks.com for more details and to get your tickets. And uh, the new book, Get On. It's a die line. 
Watch Small Talk Sucks will be out May 21st. You got any church announcements, Nyla? Yeah. Next Certified Vibe is happening in D.C. May 18th. Uh, we got two headliners, Nucci, who runs the Front Porch blog, if you guys are familiar. And then we got They. So it's going to be a super dope performance. But I love... Yeah, they're so good. And they've been really idle this year, so this will be their first time back outside. But I used to work at that Foot Locker at the mall you're going to in Maryland. Really? Yes. Well, I was in the mall? Mm-hmm. Hand over, hand, uh, hand over Maryland? Yeah. Books a Million, Arundel Mills? Mm-hmm. I'll be there June 8th, 2 p.m., baby. Love that. Uh, what else we got? Oh, shout out to Gilbert Arenas, man. Gilbert Arenas rips Rudy Gobert for missing Timberwolves game two win due to son's birth. Now, I'm going to tell you what's interesting about this video. Uh, well, play the clip, Taylor. I want to I know what you think about this, Schultz. <laughs> Right, man, like, yeah. right. I would imagine Minnesota guy, I don't know for sure I'm not in that man's business like okay. that. Okay. I mean, miss this game for that baby. I see you. It's the baby, bro. It's going to be there when you get back. So we hope. Right. <laughs> I mean, I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, no, I'm just saying. The baby going to be okay, trusting. but unnecessary. The baby going to, it, it don't know. It, whatever you about to think you about to do with the baby, he going to be asleep. Need that right? skin to skin sleep. contact. Okay, yeah, he get skin right to skin in two days. <laughs> right on the titty. <laughs> The whole time, right on the titty. <laughs> what are you saying? We need some milk. Look, I get, I get you want to be with your wife and smile and stuff, and your good uh, NBA uh, health care insurance. Right. It's because of you playing. Right. Trust me, they got everything. So first hey. child. Salute to Gilbert Arenas. I think Gilbert Arenas is hilarious. I think he's off on this, though. Yeah. Like, it's the... it's the, And it's Rudy Gobert's a first-time father. You was there. When your child came into this world, gotta be there. I was there when my child came into this world. There's nothing like it. Gotta and, be there. And, and and you, I remember all of my children's birth, but the first one, like I remember how my daughter looked when she came out. She had her hands together like she was praying. I don't, I, I I'll never forget that as long as I live. Now, Shannon Sharp had a good take. Shannon Sharp was like, "Yo, you you go to the birth, and after you see the birth, you get on a plane, you get out. Yeah. I'm with that." But you got to be there when the baby come out the womb. Yeah. You got to be there to cut the umbilical cord. Yeah. And more importantly, man, and a lady called in the breakfast club and said this this morning. She was just talking about the maternal death rate. Yeah. With how hard it is for women to, you know, get pregnant a lot of times. But then also how many women die during childbirth. Can you imagine if you decided to not be there for a basketball not game? be there for a basketball game and God forbid something happened to the and mother of your anyway. child? And they won any guy. So, like, what are we even talking about? No. Yeah, I just thought that was a... I, I'm not even going to say it's a weird take, and I'm going to tell you why I don't think it's a weird take. It's the funny take. It's a funny take, but also it's a basketball take, and I'll tell you why. Guys like Gilbert Arenas, Draymond Green, he had the same opinion as well. I think even I saw Ocho Cinco and Shannon Sharp talking about it. They're they not basketball players, but... To get to that level, especially in basketball, and I you think have we, that type of yes, we heard LeBron say this recently on JJ Reddick's show, how they you got to sacrifice everything and everybody in order to be great. Yeah. They have a mentality to get to where they are, where it's basketball or nothing. That's the priority. That's how you get to that level. Yep. That's how you get to be a hundred million dollar NBA player, You're three, right. two, three hundred million dollar NBA player. You're right. You get to that level by making those kind of sacrifices. 1, I don't have that mindset. I'm a civilian when it comes to that. You don't have that kind of mindset. We're just looking at this as regular old men. You know? Would you be upset, Nyla? Yeah. If your guy wasn't there? 1,000%. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think this is a bad take. But I like what you said. They're athletes. They're just dedicated to You're the job, straight? But... Shut the no, fuck up. No, I'm joking. No, Nyla. Nyla. I asked you the same on, thing son. back in the day. Come on, I'm just son. saying. Come was, on, son. Schultz. I know she's when I, when straight. I, when I first met Nyla, She'd I, be I up thought, at Columbia University I if she wasn't, this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the same thing. I didn't know. What? Why? We've talked about Nyla's boyfriends, yo. I know Nyla for years now. But even back then, I, just, I don't know. I just thought the whole pretty tomboy wow. thing, I'm like... That's wow. not the old school way to say lesbian. Tomboy? <laughs> not the old school, first of all. <laughs> it was, it was, it was. It was. Oh, it was. Wait, really? Tomboy, yeah. The old school way to say lesbian, old school way to say trans. Well, the yeah. only reason why I started branding myself as a pretty tomboy is because I didn't want to be sexualized or not taken seriously yeah. that's right, that's like right. I was. I am taking so, you seriously that, that, as a lesbian. Shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Nyla stands for, not your lesbian amiga. <laughs> 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 no, oh my 
good. There's it's only one gay straight. woman in here. Um, what else we got, Taylor? Yeah. You talking about yourself then? Shut the fuck Whoa! up. Whoa! Pa, pa. I was pa, talking pa, pa. about Alex. Yeah. And you yeah. got what? You always tell but y'all, yourself. Y'all, don't do that. <laughs> don't <laughs> fucking do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because y'all told, y'all said that I was a lesbian before. So I stop. Never said that. I never said you a lesbian. <laughs> Nobody's ever Are said that. Are you guys that. serious right no, now? We never said, said you a lesbian. That. We would never. That's crazy, yo. I want to slap the shit out of all y'all. Why? I'll be honest. A lesbian would do that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. They are quite violent. That stud aggression is they, crazy. They, they do have a lot of like, violence. Like, why? They have a lot of violence. Are, they, we got, we got listeners listening right now. Like, they can't believe you would even accuse us of such. Yeah. We've never what? said you're a lesbian. We said that people try to make you a lesbian, but you can't right, be look, made one. That's, one. Right. That's right. That's next right. One, That's right. You go to Aruba. Right. Right. Lord have mercy. Just shit. because a girl gives somebody head, another girl head, don't mean you're a lesbian. You got your puss in a girl's mouth. Huh? Who said that? Who said what? I am a You didn't know that? Who said I that a girl? I am a pillow princess. I let a girl eat me out. It is what it is. I mean, that's she not her, something a lesbian She had her whole the JJ in a girl's mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't Why that you crazy? Why you like that? No. You want Kendrick to write a diss record to her, don't you? No, nah, I don't want her to write a diss record, but that, that is, that's... That's pretty lesbianic. That's lesbian, for sure. Why? If I let... <laughs> Just the way she's flicking her pen. <laughs> so judgmental. She's trying to put this shit together. No, 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 no. But Yo, that's no, lesbian no. for two, sure. It's hilarious. I've, I've heard a man say that as well, though. I had a... a what a man guy, say? I had a, this, a New York City man, by the way, who said oh, that man. it's not gay if the man sucks your dick. What? That's gay for sure. That is. Hello. No, that, that's kind of gay, I would say. I think we need an ice cream place called That's Lesbian for sure. It can compete with TCBY. <laughs> <laughs> this can't be yogurt. <laughs> that's Lesbian for sure. TLFS Hold would on. be fan. If a man Ask gets head, is that gay? Yes. yes. But what if a from girl? A guy? What if a girl gets head from a girl? It's not gay. <laughs> Yo, because up. I don't find because this is how I look at it. The I way you find... move the bedpost is crazy. <laughs> Not the yeah. bedpost. Yeah. It is what it is. It is a double standard out here. It is what it is. You believe in double standards? That's, that's, that's not the double standard. It is a double standard. standard. No, it's not. That's not the double standard. That's crazy. That, that is. It's that's really lesbian. not a double standard. No it's more. a gay act, but I'm not Listen, gay. Men took that power. So you're bisexual. <laughs> so you're bisexual. Just like how what he does is a gay act, but he's not gay. <laughs> well, hey, I just tried to call him a little lady boy two Wait. minutes ago, and you jumped in. No, you no, intercepted that little lady boy. I know. You were just a little nigga lady. You just intercepted the goddamn pass. I tried to throw something at a little lady boy, and then nigga lady jumped in and intercepted. Because no, but I had the right to. Because y'all said it before. <laughs> Nigga lady is funny. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is funny. <sighs> that is crazy though, Taylor. Anyways, that is crazy. DJ Vlad actually apologized to the girl after good what happened. Vlad. Yo, if, thank you. If Vlad felt like he wanted to apologize, good for him. I'm I, not mad at it. I think he should have. I'm not mad at anybody what did he who apologized. Y'all see? He said that he was going to report her to her university yeah. for being racist, essentially, because she said that he she needs he needs to stay out of this affair. I, I, I thought this whole exchange was foolish. Corny on both sides. Yeah, I thought it was. I mean, because here's the thing. Go back to the beginning. You know, Vlad tweets out, Kendrick's not like us, needed a better mix. It takes away from the song. Now, let me just give you all a little context, and I know people don't know this. Before DJ Vlad was the DJ Vlad, y'all know now, DJ Vlad was a, a producer. DJ Flat, Vlad is known on the West Coast. He's, he's from the Bay, if I'm not mistaken. So that type of music, that West Coast slaps like that, that's totally his shit. So him saying it needs a better mix, it's like saying like the song needs a better mix. That's like, that's like technical, it's a technical engineer yeah. production stuff. Yeah. Salute to the sister, uh, what's her name, Morgan Morgan Jenkins. I guess she used to be a professor at Columbia University. She's clearly some type of professor, well-educated woman. Princeton. Princeton. Uh, she said, you are white. This is a black folk affair. This is what I... No, it's not. It's not. Because number one, Drake is half white. <laughs> Drake is definitely half white and Jewish, just like Vlad is white and Jewish. So it's not just a black folk affair. But he's talking about music, man. Like he's talking about a record. He's not talking about, he's talking about the, the, the sound quality and production of a record. Can we look this, at this, this lady this, for a second? I don't even think this lady's black. I don't believe nah, it. she's black. It's, 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 I don't she, believe her, yo. She's, she, she, she's a real person. I don't believe she's this. A proof. Nah, she, she's a real person. Jerkins? It just seems real. It just seems... <laughs> Jerkins is pretty... Oh, it's Jerkins. I'm sorry. She's dark, allegedly, she's Dark Child's niece. 
Oh yeah, Rodney Jerkins' niece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dark so, child. so therefore she she's a producer, so she should understand production. But my whole you thing are is like white. This is a black folk affair. Yeah, just don't turn. There was no need to turn this into a race issue. You're right. Like, it, it, like there's absolutely no need. And we got. And I, there's something else I want to talk about when it comes to hip hop. Do you know that seventy percent of hip hop consumers are white? You're welcome. Yep. <laughs> oh God! Seventy <laughs> percent. This welcome. is an actual, you really are factual number. You really are 70 welcome. Seventy percent of all hip hop consumers are white. So if we oh. start telling white people to stay out of hip hop, we aren't, people aren't the multimillionaires be, that they are. I'll They're be, not the billionaires that they are. I'll be honest. Hip hop don't have the cultural influence it has but, over the world without, without those seventy percent of, of white people. And if it's seventy percent white, it's really ours. No, that's not true. It is. You're like, a true American. No, 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 no. no, no it but, is. Um, y'all are like, no, y'all are y'all the biggest should, consumers of it. <laughs> yeah, but y'all should yeah. really just no. keep your mouth shut, shut about it. You're a true American. This is a white affair. <laughs> that was a very This is a white affair. <laughs> this is not a black folk affair. I think I think her saying that was just because in the moment of Kendrick, Kendrick dropping Not Like Us, it was a victory lap, not only for Kendrick, but for the West Coast and in a way... Black people were just so hyped that her saying, like, we don't want to hear nothing negative about Well, this is what right I now. want. I understand. We're celebrating. I understand. This is some uh, shit they listen. teach at universities where, like, white people are synonymous with all the oppression that has happened in the world. And they've created this, like, intellectual justification for dehumanizing whiteness. So anybody that's white, you can just silence or tell to shut the fuck up. This is, you learn these things at universities. And it's, like, an interesting, like, thought experiment on universities. She's speaking in a way to a group of people that... She she would never speak about a Chinese person in this way or Asians in that way or Indians in that way. So it, this is just like a symptom of like a larger problem. Schultz, relax. <laughs> I'm not black. You know <laughs> I'm not black. But here's the thing. I will say this. I want people to remember who they are. And what I mean by that is uh, Morgan Jerkins is a professor, or she was a professor at Princeton, but I'm sure she would probably want to have tenure somewhere else. I want somebody like her to remember who she is. And even if you see a statement like this from Vlad, keep that in your group chat. You're right. You don't have to say that. You don't have to say that on social media because the only reason Vlad reacted like this to Morgan is because he sees that Morgan is somebody who has something to lose. That's why he can act, you know, Princeton. Yeah, he did some Karen shit. He did some Karen shit. Yeah, and Karen that's shit. why people are really mad. This little conversation could have happened and it would have been like a moment, but it wouldn't have been but as much as a moment if... If people didn't feel like, look at him going against. But her. why are you mad? But why are you? Why are we mad at Vlad for being Vlad? <laughs> Both of them did some Karen shit. Vlad is a punching bag. He yes. is a punching bag online. Everybody attacks him for being a vulture, whether or not you agree. But doesn't everybody do that to everybody that's half white or white within the culture? That happens to every day. Exactly. Yes. But I mean, because so we've made it I acceptable. I can understand him being a little sensitive to it when it happens to him. I would. I, if what Morgan should have started this off. With the, the the way she responded to Vlad, when Vlad said, "Wait, so a professor at Princeton is telling me that a white person shouldn't be allowed to voice their opinion about hip hop? Is that how you interact with your students?" Morgan says, "What I'm saying is, you put your opinion in a discussion that's not needed. This conversation is and should center black people, not you." Why? I mean, because because she's a professor, she has to protect her interests. What I'm saying is, why should it center around black people? Oh, and not him. I, I, listen, he is a person that has dedicated his entire life to hip hop culture and music he should be able to have an opinion on this i i don't disagree especially it's being like, that all he's doing is talking such, about production but the fact that she feels so confident what's the next to tell him does? to be quiet despite all of his what well, that's just twitter rhetoric the whole you are white this is a black thing yeah, yeah. that's a, that's literally a, that, you see that so much on twitter like that's common twitter rhetoric yeah she's not a common person that's why i don't want to see Professors at, uh, at 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 high levels of education, but this is talking the, like regular Twitter but, people. But they teach this at high levels of education. That's how it enters Twitter. This is what's taught at the universities. No, this is no, 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 no. It's not about whether you know or not. The intersectionality. These these like philosophies that are taught in the universities mm -hmm. have basically created a system where whiteness is an oppressive force, and it stands for this. Um, all the historical pain, at least in the last, you know, several hundred years that non-white people have gone through. And 
any whiteness is responsible for it. Therefore, you can dehumanize pe people based on that whiteness. What university is no, doing know. that? I've I never, never sat through a class like that. Me neither. I mean, ever. <laughs> have you my school is top 10 most diverse schools. They've never paid. I hear that narrative online. Right. But in actual education system, they're trying to remove African-American history and the truth, period. Mm -hmm. I see narratives that you're talking about online, but I've You don't think that they teach about intersectionality in, in a Universities in America? I think they teach that, but I don't think the narrative that you're saying is a narrative. This no, is they, 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 in, in, this, in, Florida, in Florida, that is this exactly is an what extent, they're doing. This yeah, is an and, extension and, of intersectionality. In Florida, what's the... I'm, no, I, at all the Ivies. It's slipping my mind. This is what they're teaching in all the Ivies. I know, it's slipping my mind. What is it called, though? Oh, oh what was it? <laughs> critical, no, but, they're, they're, yeah, the critical... Critical race, race theory. theory. Yeah, all the people that are anti-critical race theory, that's one of their biggest things. It's, they, yeah. oh, okay. I'll be honest yeah. with you, this even spills into the Israel-Palestine discussion, because I think that... A lot of people that are viewing it are viewing Jews because they only know Jews from Seinfeld. They think all Jews are like these white people, and they think all Palestinians are brown people. So they're looking at the discussion, a lot of people, I'm not saying everybody, but a lot of people, as this white oppressive force on an indigenous brown people. What they don't realize is that there are Jews that are from this area that are also brown. There are Jews from Yemen. There are Jews from Morocco. There are Jews from all these different— They are brown. They're black Jews that are also in Israel as well. But when you view it through this lens, and this type of philosophy is taught at the university level in America, and I'm sure in the West in general, when you view it through the lens as white colonizer and brown oppressed person, of course you're going to vilify the white person because that's what you've been taught. That white white being that whiteness is essentially bad and responsible for your pain. Listen. I'm all for vilifying white people when necessary. <laughs> this isn't one of those times. <laughs> it's all, it's, like, this isn't the time. Like, there was no need to vilify Glad. Glad in this moment, you know? And then she says, semester's over. My contract has been completed. But thanks for trying to bully me out of a job for centering black people because you got your feelings hurt. Very retaliatory, huh? Nice tactic. Well, some could say you tried to bully Vlad out of his opinion. Of course. You know what I mean? By pulling the white card. He so I, he overdid it, but what she did was corny. And, and listen, and we got, and, and I'm with you, but we gotta stop saying people overdid it, and I'll tell you why. I always tell you, you can't tell folks how to react. I think Kendrick and Drake overdid it. Sure. But who am I to tell them that they shouldn't have gone to hell on each other? Sometimes it's okay to leave people to fuck alone. Also, I, what Morgan said, like, you guys feel like. Y'all haven't heard. Maybe she shouldn't have brought it to Twitter because she's a professor, but that is definitely something that's being said in conversation. Dude, my wife went to NYU Business School. A black student told a white teacher to stop talking about a subject because it had to do with blackness, and the teacher just stopped. Right. What the fuck is happening? The, <laughs> the student just went, you're not black, you shouldn't talk about this, and the teacher was like, uh, okay. What is the subject, though? I'm not exactly sure what yeah. it was. Mm -hmm. But well, my point is, but my point is, there's a power dynamic. This is all, these are all, like, reflections of, of power dynamics. But now there's a power dynamics, and the white teachers are terrified that they're going to get in trouble, they're going to be called racist, that they're going to be, you know, that stepping out of bounds. And more than just race, too, by the way. That happens with sexuality, sexuality. Everything. Yeah, yeah. This is a function of this yeah, yeah. philosophy that they're teaching at the university level in America. And then these kids, they go take these ideas and they think it's gospel. They're like, oh, not only do they think it's gospel, they actually, they have, they have like hubris attached that they're like, I'm smarter than everybody because now I understand this. So I'm going to bestow this wisdom upon the world. And they don't really understand the reality of what they're talking about and the real world applications of this. Like there are people that are Asian that struggle and there are people that are Asian that are oppressed. There are white people that are being oppressed and there are white people that are oppressors. There are black oppressors and there are black oppressed. I but, think it just depends on the lens you're looking through. Absolutely. Yes, like, you're but, right. But, I hear but, you. But I'm, this... I'm not even exaggerating. That's why I wrote this book. Right. Uh, and, I, and I like literally, I wrote this book because of exactly what you just said, because what we're doing is we're blocking each other from having even conversations. Like, I would rather have a discussion with you than just tell you shut the fuck up. Yeah. yeah. You right. know what I mean? Like, and, 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 and if you do feel like that, uh, you know, Miss Jerkins, if she feels like, yo, Vlad shouldn't be in these conversations, Give me a better reason than just because I'm white. Well, that especially that, when, it, when it, it's not a we're not talking race. I, I love. I'm that just idea. talking about music. I love. What if she was like, 
Vlad, I've seen the music you've mixed in your life. You are horrible at this. Shut you the know fuck up. Nothing yes. about it. Yeah. I, you know yes. what the internet yes. would say? Yes. You're damn right. Great, great yes. point, et cetera. Yeah. Actually, maybe the internet would say nothing because it's too nuanced. Yes. The internet might react even more to like a very low hanging fruit argument, like just yes. shut up, hey, you're a white person. Yes. Yeah. Because we all want the power to silence others that we disagree with. And can we yep. flip it? Vlad, I saw people saying Vlad is only doing this because she's a black woman. No. Vlad did this because she's a professor at Princeton and Vlad knows there's somebody he could at or somebody he could contact yeah. to get this woman in some trouble. He even says this to her. Go to the next slide. The next slide, he literally says to her... Don't try to change your words now. I'll be reaching out to no, Princeton. No, the next one. The next, it's Monday. the next oh. one. Oh, no. Vlad said, good luck being a professor at Princeton again. I doubt the university supports their faculty telling non-black students to shut the fuck up about anything hip-hop related because of their skin color. Morgan says... Make it a little bigger, Taylor, which is not even what I said. I find it funny that you specifically chose to respond to me, belittle my academic background, and threaten my job when others responded to you in much harsher ways. Very interesting and telling, but you got it. Now, Vlad goes, this is exactly what you said. You're just backtracking now. I never belittled your academic background. Just the opposite, actually. I'm pointing out that someone claiming to represent a top Ivy League university should be held to a higher standard. You're threatening your own job by publicly, publicly spewing bigotry or representing Princeton in your bio. I responded to you, and this is very important, because all the other responses are from, tro are from trolls and fake accounts. You may want to think about getting a burner account like all the other bigots do. That's how they keep from getting fired, LOL. Mm. That is very true. Mm -hmm. That's why I say we have to remember who we are in these situations and in these circumstances. You can't just be on Twitter tweeting like regular idiots tweet because you're not a regular idiot. Exactly. In no way, shape, or form. The only reason Vlad even responded to her is because she's a professor at Princeton. And there was something for her That's to it. lose. Yeah. If, if, she, if she was Morgan Jerkins with nothing in her bio, he didn't know what she did or anything like that, mm -hmm. he would have ignored it like he ignored everything else. Mm -hmm. The fact yeah. she's a professor at Princeton is what made him reply like that. My suspicion is that in her circles, even the intellectual circles, saying something like that is sufficient. And she would get no pushback, nothing from faculty, nothing from staff. And when you're around and surrounded by that type of, I wouldn't even call it intellectual community, that type of like almost sycophantic community or fearful community, of course, you get the courage to go and message someone that on a public platform yeah. that will exist forever. Like, only, you would, you have to have a level of delusion to think that's okay. Like, oh, it, it, oh, I think she was just excited. excited. And a, but a lack of understanding of history, too. Yeah. I mean, I, I can tell you as someone who was around for the beginning of hip hop, what did every hip hop artist and label want in the first 10 years of hip hop? Badly. Good music, production, good mixes. Beastie and Beastie How? Boys, white fans. Oh yeah, listen, white <laughs> audience. Seventy percent. That look, was look, the biggest struggle up, was to find across. They wanted up, the rock audience. Up. Rock dominated mm -hmm. the cultural landscape. Mm -hmm. Everything Run DMC did in the beginning. If you go back and watch the videos for Rock Box, King of Rock, little blonde kids winking and smiling and. It was all to try to encourage white people to listen to the music and come into the music. That was the entire strategy. Hmm. Look at this, man. This abstract. This I think I don't. I think is the study called abstract. I'm not sure. This so it's like. So it's like. Hey, we want the white dollar, but shut up about your opinions. Once I buy it, I got an opinion. You got an opinion. Right. If, if it's a restaurant <laughs> and I eat the food, <laughs> and I go, well, I would actually shut up, white boy. <laughs> what the fuck is going on over here? I bought the right. food. They go to the Jamaican spot. They do that to everybody, to be fair. But they're, 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 that, they're, by the way, <laughs> the ruder defenders. the ruder people yeah. are in the Jamaican spot, the better the, better the, the food, because yeah. they know. <laughs> they know what time it is. This Look at this. This study explores why young white suburban adults are consumers and fans of hip-hop music, considering it is a black cultural art form that is specific to African-Americans. While the hip-hop music industry is predominantly black, studies consistently show that over 70% of its consumers are white. So listen... I'm not mad at Professor Jerkins for saying, hey, the customer is not always right, <laughs> okay? <laughs> but but they are the customer. They are the customer. And they can have an opinion. My biggest but thing is it had nothing to do with race. 
But there was nothing. It had nothing to do with race. It was yes. about a mix. It had nothing to do with race in any way, shape, well, or form. Well, I think form. at the core of it, it had nothing to do with race. But people definitely felt a way about the you always rapping like you're trying to free the slaves bar and having his white mom intro the record What's with What's that got to do with Vlad? Blame like, Kendrick for I, all no, this. No, I'm, I'm saying... <laughs> Kendrick be, started all because, this climate. Because oh, that occurred, yeah, 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 black yeah, yeah, people yeah, yeah. were triggered. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah, think yeah. start like a... They, they don't want to hear Vlad say nigga no more. No, yeah. Right now, none of y'all can say it because I'm mad about the... By the way, Vlad has never said it, but that's just my new way saying they don't want to hear from white people right now. Yeah. They don't want to hear I, you say nigga no more. I think that's what it was. I think people were triggered from the Free the Slaves bar and the nigga I said it. Da, 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 we don't so want to hear y'all opinion right. about swimming, but we'll Yo. listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll listen to it. We're Let's not going to say shut up, to stop pay. talking about swimming. We got any more but bills if you out here talking about Michael Phelps was slow in the back, man, shut up. We got but, any more bills but, to pay. but you should be entitled to talk about Michael Phelps even though y'all can't do a stroke at all. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but we, we all should be entitled to no talk more. about it. Blue Chew. We got any more bills to pay? Uh, blue Chew. Blue Chew. Do a Blue Chew show. I got you. Let's okay. come back and do Biggest some Ask It Idiots. Blue Chew yeah. and stop <laughs> saying nigga. Whoa, I never said that. I don't know, at the 50 Cent concert. I never said it. I didn't mouth it either, but I was trying really hard. I don't know what you heard about me. <laughs> this is fun. Now, this is the funniest Chew. meme ever. But, Jonathan Majors hearing everything Drake said about Kendrick and him still have a rap career. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan Majors like, y'all gotta switch it up. Oh my God. That is John, terrible. Jonathan Majors is like, what? What is going Drake on? Drake said Kendrick is fucking white girls and beating his wife. And I'm out here losing Marvel deals, and I was fucking the white girls, and allegedly beating them. Then what the fuck is going on? Should have been a rapper. Jonathan gonna be fine. <laughs> Should have should been, been, been a rapper. Yo, Jonathan, you should have been a rapper. You want to do blue chew? Yes, sir. Yes. Guys, this episode has been brought to you by Hard Dick. It's been brought to you by Hard Dick. It's been brought to you by Hard Dick. <laughs> Hard Dick is bringing you this episode, and Blue Chew is the one bringing you the Hard Dick. Same active ingredients inside Viagra Cialis, but this is the Chew, the one that we, we rock with, the one that we get real bricked up with. You know what I mean? Satisfy the wives. Keep them real nice and good. Taylor don't need Blue Chew and Aruba because there's just going to be a mouthful of lips. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Point is, bluechew.com. This is the one that you need to give your girl the stickiest back of her life with. And you're going to get your first month free. All you got to do is go to bluechew.com, use the promo code IDIOTS. You get your first month free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. Now let's get back to the show. Uh, let's do some asking idiots, Taylor. Yes. Taylor, let's do some asking idiots, yes. Taylor. I'm just let you know that Ryan Garcia got cleared. I saw some. Yo, that. that's really interesting. Really fucking interesting. I'm telling you, you can't believe shit no more, man. Why was that? Why did that story even go out? Why did they even say that to Ryan Garcia? Yeah, I saw that earlier. Ryan Garcia cleared for one banned substance. Ryan Garcia requests B sample be tested after failed drug test. Ryan Garcia cleared of one PD, PED allegation, still faces scrutiny for Osterine. Yeah. Oh, they handle him because he's a pretty boy. Yeah, I mean. Because he's a pretty boy, like he said. That's yeah, but you up. can't just throw some shit out there like <laughs> nah, that. Nah, that's crazy. That's crazy. And you completely discredit it. Who just, put yeah. it out there? Like, nah, yeah. that's crazy. Now, and here's the other thing that's interesting is that since he said so much wild shit, you can believe it. You don't know what's true, what's not true. So when he was like, no, I never did steroids, you're like, is he continuing to just say the wild shit or is he being serious now? It's re it, yeah, that's some diabolical stuff going on over there. Every what happens when you're betting and somebody gets in trouble for it? So you? really, no. so I think it, I think it becomes a no contest and then based on, or you lose or whatever, and then based on that, based on what happened there, the payout would change. Oh, okay. I, I would imagine. I would like, imagine. It's like if you just bet on win loss, and so Ryan Garcia won, but then let's say if they stripped him from the win because of the drugs, then I think it becomes a no contest. Oh, so you just get your money back, but you don't. Yeah, oh, okay. I believe. Okay. I mean, if you have steroids and you, so I think if you have steroids, your win becomes a no contest. If you lost yeah, 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 and yeah, you're on yeah. steroids, yeah. it's still a loss. Yeah, like they, yeah, no, no, no. They, yeah, they, but they'll they'll wipe away Devin's loss. Got it. 
Yeah, so right. Devin's loss will get wiped away. Yes. So I guess your victory, clearly your victory will get wiped away too. But salute to Ryan, man. Ryan got me believing everything that he said about the Illuminati now. Facts. They on his head. Facts. Um, Taylor, let's do some asking idiots, please. Ooh, I like this. Ooh. Adon says, hypothetically, how much would someone have to pay y'all to get a BBL? Nyla? Somebody's actually reached out to me and offered free surgery as long as I promoted it. But no money, because I, I just don't want it. Free surgery as long really? as you promote it. Good yeah. for you. Like, Who the fuck is this dumbass doctor? You said what? Who's this stupid ass doctor? Why? Like, because why? I, I would not take surgery? no free surgery for no fucking shout outs. Yeah. Who is the guy? A girl. I don't know. It was a it was a surgery page from Maryland. What do you want you to get? They said check out our services, whatever you're interested. Let's have a consultation, but uh -huh. they want me to document the procedure. You looked? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, fucking no. look, yo. <laughs> what? I what mean, were you thinking? Some things don't seem as traumatic as others. Like what? Um, the abs situation doesn't seem traumatic. Abs? Yeah, the abs. Like Drake. You want Kendrick Drake, to write a Drake, record about Drake you? Drake said he got stomach issues from that. Well, uh, he didn't say it. But well, I didn't. Get where assuming. Did you get that? I'm assuming. Did he have stomach issues? I'm now? assuming. Just made that up from no. <laughs> no, it went from Drake said. He <laughs> went from I'm Drake said to I'm assuming. That shit is dangerous. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it is but I just corrected myself. No, it's dangerous. That's this a dangerous time. I literally time corrected myself. In. Yo, that's Drake a said to bro. I'm assuming. Well, nonetheless. <laughs> I, I didn't want I anything. literally just corrected myself. Calm down, lady man, whatever you call it. <laughs> Where'd you see this at? Nah, yeah, Where did you even see this? You gotta remember at? if you go ahead. How do you get mad at yourself for saying stuff? <laughs> I know. I'm <laughs> getting mad at y'all yes, because I said Taylor I just corrected it. We don't ever get mad at you the way you get mad at you. It, and we should. <laughs> 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 like, what the hell? I just oh corrected it like instantly, so relax. You thought about it too, Taylor? No. You would try to People already think that I have one. Have what? That got surgery. What for? What? Wait, what? I've definitely got um, accused of getting surgery because. Nah, but what know. type of surgery? Like because I'm thicker than Charlotte over there. The, 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 no, no, but what? What did you get surgery? He's such a hater, yo. But what surgery? Yeah. I'm talking about BBL. Would I get one? No, no. What are they accusing you of getting? A fucking a BBL, forehead yeah. transplant. <laughs> <laughs> Calm. Say something. <laughs> say something. <laughs> he said something. a joke. Why do you even have your shades on right now? <laughs> Why the fuck can't you wear shades? Yeah. What is wrong with Why you you're crazy? Yo. He yeah. is it's crazy. crazy. I said it nothing. Don't make no sense. Me. You call me a dumb lady boy again? Like Wait, I what said. What did he just say? Thank you. What did you say? He said that you got a forehead transplant, which was very insulting. I think you have a beautiful forehead. I did not say forehead. that. I what don't know the what to believe. Y'all like Kendrick and Drake. I don't know what the fuck to believe. I did not say that. You know somebody replicated Kendrick's website and it looks just like it, but it's proof of all the things he's lying about. I got sent that yesterday, yeah. But y'all be getting I I'm so glad I stay off the internet. I got my little Instagram and Tell you, it. if he comes out with the proof and a banger, don't nobody everybody give a fuck. gonna talk different. So you never thought about getting no surgery, Taylor? No. Uh, well, if I did, it would be like a knee surgery because I want to be a little bit taller. Wow. <laughs> I'm just saying. Taylor is the craziest human. I mean, it, it, it's like... She didn't say, like, say that. Hold on, hold on. I, we need to stop right now. She's, not, yo, God, she's yeah. not trying. <laughs> this is but, real. This is really who she is. I don't think y'all broke that No, 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 no. We know exactly what's going on right now. And we're all just trying to address it. Taylor <laughs> thinks that someone's height comes from their knees. So, this is crazy. Oh, God. I didn't say that. You That's just exactly said, what no, the it's fuck not. you said. I didn't say that. Uh -oh. What did you say? She's going to get mad at you again for telling her what she did. You say. just said that, Taylor. I didn't say I think it comes from the knees. I'm just saying. You, well, you said I would get a knee surgery. But, no, you know what? No. Let her go to the doctor and tell the doctor <laughs> she wants to be taller. So she needs the knee surgery. Can, yo, can you get these ACLs out of here? I, <laughs> let, I need... let, if that's what she believes, let her believe it, okay? <laughs> the doctor will tell her otherwise. I don't uh, like how you're touching your laptop right now. Yeah, because you know I'm about to smack the shit. <laughs> why are you, what is, why are you so that's violent? Crazy, God damn. <laughs> how you I'm up? still mad at you from earlier, Shy. But for what? Up. Talk about my mom. Whoa. Wait, not the mama jokes. I did not talk about your mama. See, you just be forgetting now. All what right. I said about mama? No doubt. I'm not repeating it. What I said? I'm not repeating what it. What did I say about mama, man? <laughs> oh, no, no. By the way, you said that about your mama. That, what? Once again, get mad at me, but something she said. What she right? said? What? So I was like, yo, your mom reached out to me. 
And just lying. Stop fucking lying because my mom don't fucking reach out to you. <laughs> Yo, you're freaking Like, so you're pissing me the fuck off like you don't got a fucking marriage. Calm the fuck I down. I didn't say like anything. You. All I said was she reached out to me, Taylor. told me she had a good time that at the festival. No, That's it. That's blah, not the blah, fuck blah. happened. So Taylor. then Taylor goes, Taylor goes, my mom, then she goes, you know what? I'm not going to tell you. And I go, what? She goes, my mom says, why Charlemagne think he always get first dibs on my pie? That's not how she said it. <laughs> that's what like, you why do you said. keep saying it like that? No, that's what you said. That's not how I so said how it, you though. Said it that's me. not how I said it. And all I did was smile. Keep like, your tone. Yeah. That's not how I said it. All I did was smile, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, I can't wait till my dad sees you again. I'm gonna tell him to knock what you the fuck I out. Do? I'm gonna tell you to knock you the fuck out. What have I done here? I'm gonna tell him to knock you the fuck out. What have I done up. here? Taylor, I don't understand how you've been on this podcast so long. Bruh. You still be jumping out the Did window. You, I don't care. I haven't done nothing. Mad. You should be used to this. No, it's just, I'm never gonna get used to him trying to disrespect my parents' marriage. So stop playing. So stop playing. Anything. No I doubt. I haven't said nothing. No doubt. Go. All I heard is that he Taylor likes Taylor can pie. do a diss record to herself. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, Taylor's the type to start writing a diss record about somebody else, and at the end, you'd be like, I'm short from Philly. You know what I'm saying? Got beat by Andrew Schultz and attract me. You know what I mean? And then she'll, she'll rap it in the booth, listen back to it, and be like, yo, fuck oh. Taylor, yo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But then title it Charlemagne Diss. Oh, my God. <laughs> this girl is insane. Mr. McStruff. <laughs> Uh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want more because Taylor did tell me one time, uh, she she said, uh, she's like, do you know why black people are so tall? <laughs> I was like, why? And then she was like, because they're Negroes. <laughs> Taylor, we don't want to hear you say Negro no more. <laughs> Taylor, Taylor, we don't want to hear you say Negro That's no whole street joke. more. That's a whole street it. joke. But the time that's that's a joke. Time is crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, is this based off of like man. what I would get surgery off? That's your trying to say. Oh, oh my God. Man, was... What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm say, I don't get what y'all talking about. No. Taylor, I thought Taylor. you really said that. That's a Taylor joke. I know. That is good. absolutely a Taylor joke. That would be a good one. She's going going to use it. <laughs> I did use it. She got to understand. Oh, yeah, well, you, no, yes, she got to understand. What are you talking about? What do you she mean? Still, she still hasn't caught up. I haven't caught up. I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. You, you said, right, nah, right, nah, fuck on. all that. Just, Taylor ain't slick. Taylor ain't low, yo. Taylor be trying to act clueless like we act clueless. But and she, she good at it. She is. Because I'll be really lost. <laughs> She's she tapping that laptop again. I don't, feel <laughs> I don't feel comfortable right now, yo, because I'm closest. And she's not going to take two more steps to get to you. She's going to start swinging at me first. Mr. McScruff said, if you had to, what's one skill you trade to have another? It's a good one. What's, what's one skill you trade to have another? Man, I'd trade my knees to be in the NBA. <laughs> fucking heartbeat, I really would, bro. Like, when you think about it, I would give up both of my knees to be in the NBA with all those guys with no knees. With all those That's Negroes? It. With all those Negroes? <laughs> you would trade your knees to be in the NBA with all those Negroes? I would. I would, bro. I'll be honest with you. I would, Taylor. I would. Uh, That's what it takes. Uh, this whole time, I thought I wasn't in the NBA just because I wasn't athletic man. enough. Turns out, I got two functional knees. Oh, my God. God. I blame my mom. I got my mom's knees. You got bro. your mom's knees, bro. <laughs> my mom's knees, huh? God damn. Damn it, Taylor. There's some good mama knee jokes right now. Because <laughs> Alex set himself right on up. He got his mom's knees. <laughs> he got knees. his mom's knees. <laughs> God <laughs> damn. Al. 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 That's crazy. I got my mom's knees. Charlamagne. I did. That's how you get a job at Bad Boy in the 90s. Just have your mom's knees. Listen. Scroll up, Taylor. Scroll up, Taylor. GT, you just laugh. It's just a joke. I'm not you. Damn, 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 damn. Stop. Why? Why'd you do that? Stop. This is a good one. This is a good one. Moosey Leguess says. Damn, you mom. I know, I was on them <laughs> shit. I just hit the knees. You see me just hit the knees? What bro? skill would you trade? Nah, I let it you have. What would you trade DJing for? I can't think of nothing right now. Really? Yeah, I like my Knitting? You know how to crochet? I love crocheting. I'm not trading that. I love where I'm at. I love all my skills. I just want to get better at them. I feel the same way. I feel like if I trade any of my skills, it'll fuck up the recipe. So yeah. 
you know, Word. I keep everything the way that it is. What have you guys learned or understand about people when building your teams? Ooh, good question. Ooh, fantastic question. What you got, Schultz? What have you learned or understand about people when building your teams? Like, higher competence. That's, at least for me, it's like, the most competent people can kind of figure, they'll be able to figure most jobs out. So, like, that's the first thing I'm looking for. It's just like, can you solve problems and are you competent? That's, yeah. So, I think that's very helpful. What about you, Charla? Um, what have you guys learned to understand about people? I'm actually people really interested in hearing this from you. When building your teams. Mello, what's your mic? I think I'm still learning, yo. Cause I got a good, I got a, I got a good team, um, but I think what I'm learning is you have to have people who know what it is they want to do. Ah. I think that's very important. Yeah, that's like, interesting. You have to know people. Like, if you want to, if you're a producer, you want to be a producer. That's what you do. That's where all your energy goes. That's what you focus on. Yeah. If you want to be a manager, then you put all your energy, you put all your focus into being a manager. Whatever it is that you choose to do, you have to do that. I think a lot of people don't focus on what it is they want to do anymore. They focus on what it is they want out of it. And I think nowadays, a lot of people really do want attention. Mm. They really do want fame. I don't even know if they even, they want money, but I think they want those other things more because because they think all of those things bring money. And I think that when you have a team like that, when you have a team where everybody wants to be a point guard, that's not going to work. Yep. Everybody literally has to play a position. I and agree. I think that when you look at certain entities, right? Like and, and, and you, you see Andrew Schultz or you see a Kevin Hart or you, myself anybody. Like I, if you you'd be surprised when you look behind the curtain and see everything that's Yep. It's behind this like it's not just it's a really me. great point like if, if i show you what i pay in commissions you'd be like god damn i get pissed off and want to fire everybody just off looking at the fucking commissions but then you realize none of this happens yeah without a team like I, this, this book right here this book is not just me sitting around with a fucking laptop it's just me it's chris then you got book agents like you know jan miller then you got you know my my, my business partner Karen. you got all of these people that come together to make this one thing go. And then even when you just talk about the promotion of this book, like there's a whole promotional team, there's a marketing team, like you, every, but it's a bunch of people who play their position to make sure this is successful. Yeah. That's it. Facts. Yo, it's very hard for a lot of humans to play their position to make sure one thing is successful. Yeah. But, but, but you realize it's not about an individual. Like it's about a business. Yeah. And if you look at it like that and you're part of the business, all you want is to be your best self so the business, business can thrive. Can, be, yeah. can thrive. That's if the point. business thrives, we all good. It's yeah. a great and, point. And, and I think that's the biggest thing, man. Like, I, I, I'm really, I've ran into a lot of people who um, have a lot of talent and they're good at what it is that they do. They just don't want to do what it is they're good at and they're too focused on other things and that causes shit to fuck up and it doesn't make for a good team. Yeah. Joel Embiid, you're not playing point guard. You got to play your position. You got to play your motherfucking position. Yeah. And I think that's the, uh, yeah, I think that's, that's the hardest thing to, the, for people to learn and understand. Super well said. Because sometimes when people aren't paying their positions, they might resent the fact that uh, you are, and then you got to manage that. Uh, it's really, it's a great point. Knowing what they want to do, and then also embracing their role. That's right. As part of it. Yeah, that's a great point. Brandy, this has been around for 11 years. Yeah. This is our 500th episode. Yeah. And it's because we play off a fucking position. Amen. You know what And, I'm and we, we enjoy it. We like, enjoy it. It is a it. fun process. Man, yeah. this has been, this is, other than Breakfast Club, this is like the most consistent thing I've done all the time for the last 11 years. Same. And I enjoy it. Yeah. I enjoy yeah. coming here and doing what it is that, we do. Yeah. And I mean that's that's it. All I gotta do is show up, but I'm not I don't do the I'm not doing I'm not doing what Alex is over there doing. I'm not doing what, what Taylor's doing. Taylor's doing. I'm not doing what the, Chris is doing and the rest of the team out there is cameras in here. All I do is sit here, come here and sit down. Yep. And that feels so good to be able to do. Yeah. That's that is one of my biggest pet peeves in other places. Yeah, you have to I, do all these other things. Yeah, I did. 
damn, you know, I, could, I wish I could just come sit my ass down somewhere. Yeah. Got yeah. me looking like the Popeye's chicken lady sitting outside of the fucking Popeye's. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the thing. So it's like, yeah, when you find people that know what it is that they yeah. want to do and you build that team around, you know, whatever, whatever's bringing the money in. Facts. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. And by the way, if you're on the team and you can bring the money in, if you can be that, we'll figure out how to make that happen too. Oh, 100%. That's, that should be the key to the game. Like, 100%. like you don't want to be the person, be the, the main money maker forever. Mm -hmm. Like, you, the point is to build up other people. Like, you know what I mean? But people can make so much money doing what it is that they do, man. Because I know right now, it shows there's probably people wanting to tap your team. Yeah. For production. Sure. Absolutely. The videos, y'all do. You know what I'm All saying? Like, like we, All the when time. We, when we at WTF, how many people probably like see us shooting at WTF and they're like, oh shit, I'm going to start going to WTF. I want yeah. I want that. Yeah. Like it all works hand in hand. Absolutely. But everybody just got to play their position. I tell Taylor that all the time with the Taylor Main shit. You play, you're doing all this production for people, people going to hear it and they're going to be like, I need that. I want to get that. I need that. Next thing you know, Taylor making all types of money, y'all production. That's what this shit is about. Thanks. Everybody figuring out what it is you want to do and everybody just playing their position and doing it. That is a very hard thing for some people to learn and a very hard thing for some people to understand. And that's why teams aren't great teams and you got to keep trading players and cutting people and bringing <laughs> folks in. Yeah. Perfectly said. Mm -hmm. That's it, guys. I think that's great. You think we did it? I, I, yeah, I just think it's a great description of like building a business, especially in like a creative endeavor. Mm-hmm. And it's it, people don't realize it. Like it's it's oftentimes hard to watch somebody really love what they do if you're not loving what you do, and you can get resentment. So like building that with the people that really want to do, yeah, it's just it's really well said, dude. Yeah, it's really well said. And I'm sure you've gone through this probably for decades, where you saw the things that worked and didn't work, and that's how you've come to. The, I imagine Absolutely. that's how you came to it. Yeah. Absolutely. I can tell you. I can tell you exactly. <laughs> I can tell you exactly why people don't get to where they need to be. Why? But the sad part is, you don't re like. Like there can be somebody who's so talented, you can you know start doing business with them or put them on the team, and then you ever been around somebody and you see how talented they are. And you like, damn, why isn't that person doing this? Or why isn't that person uh, doing that? And then you put them on the team and you realize why. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. that's why you ain't getting what you want out of this shit. I totally understand now. Waved again. <laughs> now you're a free agent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got your shot, though. You got your shot. Yeah. You got your shot. You got your shot. Yeah. Um, as always, thank you, man. Thank you to the listeners, man. 500 episodes. Crazy. 11 years in this game. You know, we continue to grow. Show just sold out the garden Yo, twice. thank you guys so much, everybody who came and everybody man. who just said uh, congratulations and just been part of this journey. And it just really means a lot. That was my dream in comedy, man. Everything else people, after bro. this is icing on a cake. But uh, yeah, it just made it made my whole it made my whole career, man. So it, it just really feels awesome. You're inspiring people, bro. I'm I, I'm super inspired. Good. Like like highly, 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 highly inspired because you got it out the motherfucking mud. I had help from good friends like you, man. Man, you the reason I don't believe in white privilege, really. To be honest with you, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I could do that. For you. I'm genuinely glad I could do that for you. I'm like, I don't know, man. Andrew worked too hard. <laughs> <laughs> you worked a little too hard. I'm not sure. I, maybe a little white privilege? Not, I'm not sure in Manhattan. Maybe somewhere else. <laughs> I don't know. As always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace.